Salutations, my fellow dandies. It's me, Jack Dandy, and today we are playing Honkai Star Rail, uh, which is a suggestion from one of my subscribers. Uh, yeah, it underscore it's underscore Jin. Um, I at the beginning of the year I said it's still quite loud. Uh, hang on, let me pop that down a little bit. Another five decibels. We'll figure out the music yet later. Uh, yeah, at the beginning of the year I told my subscribers that um, I would play any game that they wanted me to, with, with within reason. Um, Salutations, Jin. Yes, it's indeed Honkai time. Uh, yeah, and this is... I, 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 it's coming up to the end of July, and I've done one game, which was... Uh, uh, I can't even remember what it was called, but it was a Sega Saturn shooter from ages ago. Uh, so I thought, well, it's, kind of, you know, it's over half the year, let's make it two. Um, I was I'm in an hour about what to play today, and I remembered I downloaded this a while ago. I thought, why not? Why not? There's a drop campaign in available at the moment, so I've got drops enabled. So if you you know you're into that kind of thing, you can get free shit. Um, I do have one complaint about this game so far, is that I can't change the resolution settings. Um, from this menu. I've tried. I can't. So it's currently at set of 4K, which is fine if I'm playing on my own, but covers up all of my da all of my like OBS. So I when I get in I'll change I'll change it down to 2K. But at the moment it's 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 too big. Uh, it won't affect your viewing. It's just it's just a bugbear on my side because it covers up all of my That's nothing to apologize for, Jen. It's just I don't know why there's no options for set for like change the resolution from the menu. It's such a weird design choice. Um, but yeah, well, like I said, as soon as I get in, it will let. I'm sure it will let me change the resolution. I just need to, but I didn't want to like skip the opening cutscene sort of thing. So anyway, let's. I'll, I'll just have to hope that nothing breaks while while I play, and uh, and until I get to that point, it should it should be fine. It should be fine. It looks... I mean, I've only seen this menu, but it looks very pretty. I am playing on controller as well. We'll see how... I think this game has decent controller support, because I, I... Can you... Is this on PS5 as well? I can't remember if this one is. I think I downloaded it on PC because it's not. So all I know about this is, a, is that it is... It's a gacha game. It's set on a space train. It'll be on PS5 later this year. Maybe I should have waited then. Maybe I should have played wait until the PS5 version. You know. When it was fresh and and new. But you know, we're here now. And, you know, I've got this graphics card in this PC, and I never play anything that requires it, so. It's, it's nice to play something that actually looks quite pretty. <laughs> Seems I came at a bad time. No, no. Oh. No, I think you okay, there we go. Twenty-three forty-seven fifteen system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Okay. I mean, Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. Unrelated. I, I can never think... I can, I can never hear Pachabell's cannon without hearing... thinking about that song about the guy complaining about Pachabell's cannon and how Pachabell's cannon appears in all kinds of songs. You did that. No. The antimatter region did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. All right. So do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to 
place the target properly. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> the story's so good for a gacha game. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. I have heard good things about this one. I mean, I've heard good things about Genshin. The problem, then it's the same problem that stopped me from playing this um, when it came out, is that I looked at all the characters and there weren't any characters that grabbed me. Um, like, I think... And I, 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 know, I appreciate I'm in the minority of this one, but I think the character designs in Genshin are incredibly generic. Um, there's not a single character in Genshin that I've gone, yeah, I'd like them. There are a couple of characters in Honkai that I do like. I think one, most of them are like really common characters as well. So I don't know that my team's going to be very good if I put those characters on my team, but... You know, play with the characters you want, I guess, rather After than the characters... All, I don't need five-star characters. Why would it matter? I think there's one lady. I think there's a, a one lady who I, I quite like the look of. Um, May as well kill them all. But it's so weird to me that I can't set like change my resolution before before this point. Like, what if this was just like a, a stop frame animation for me? And I was like, I, I please let me change my resolution. <laughs> That breathing sensation. Remember it. Okay, and that hits the other guy. Uh, oh, okay, and that just got sucked into a wormhole. All right. Can I please? Thank you. Right, let's take check this down. T Twenty. There we go. That that's fine. And then I can window it. Ah, and there we go. And now I can see. Now I can see my settings. Is uh, there we go? Yes, the stream. Oh, the stream. Hmm. No, that's not the. That's not the. That's the resolution I want. There we go. So that didn't look right. Right. That's just... I mean, everything's set to high, and it seems to be okay. It, it, it hung very briefly during... It hung... V no, what? Stop going into full screen. Stay in windowed mode. Hang on, is it because I... Did I... I did set it to full screen. Hang on, there we go. There we go. Okay, so that should stay in windowed mode. That's what I mean. I wanted this option of the menu so I could sort this stuff out before I started streaming. That was my, this was my only complaint so far. Alright. Use a fake identity to get past security check. This is, this is the picture of a lady here. Who's this? Herta? Yeah. <laughs> she looks so young. She was already famous in the last Amber era, no? She has to be at least a hundred years old. She's a member of the Genius Society, and an emanator of New Sierra Edition. She can probably age backwards if she wanted. <laughs> yeah, I seem to recall that over half of the Genius Society's 80-odd members had a normal death. Wasn't there someone who lived for a dozen days or so? What was their name? Oh. <laughs> That's pretty normal. Aren't the immortal bosses in games always waiting for the protagonist to come kill them? <laughs> Immortality is not always a good thing. <laughs> oh, what an alliance joke. I have zero context for anything that they just said there. Oh, someone was doing math. Oh, when did the antimatter legion become so weak? I can only attract this much. Did you really want the entire Legion to come here? Oh, this lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. A Doomsday Beast is also here. Oh, can I... Can I sneak? Oh, hang on. And he's now within the attack character's range. 
Yeah. That's what you get for taking a squat in the middle of the floor. Oh, there's five of you! Remember it. All characters possess a powerful ultimate which can be used when the energy is full. Alright. Yes. Time to say bye. I mean, all the enemies were standing in front of her. I don't know why she needed to spin. It was, it's, it's certainly pretty looking. Cleaning up other people's mess isn't in my job. <laughs> She's very extra, yes. You know, Kafka. Where did you send it, Silverwolf? It's cool because I, I get drops so as well just for playing. Not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed that this fancy technique of yours is usual. <sighs> just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Oh, you're getting what the drops too, Jin. Glad. Good to hear it. Is that was this your plan all along? Get me to play Honkai Star Rail, and then you could claim the drops. Herta's toys, a catalog featuring the space station's crafty. collection you're of rare items. You're a crafty items. one. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from zero to one hundred. Doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kind of want to know mine. Fine. I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. Oh, so that's where the Stellaron is. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. Oh, not the... Good. I've been wondering where the Stellaron is. Huh. I can... I can be four people. Uh... There. Close enough. The central area of the space station is up ahead. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. Ugh. Yeah, but now I have two people. And I was kicking their ass with one, and there's only one guy. Characters in his active sequence. Okay, yeah, that's pretty standard. Ultimate's not fixed with the action order and can be used in any turn. Okay. This will take long. Stand still. I got detonated. Oh, do I? Do I? I don't think I need to use my ultimate against this guy. This seems. This seems a bit much. This combat needs optimizing. Hmm. At this speed, too slow. Yeah, that that seemed like too much. <laughs> There's one dude and he was half dead already. Uh, okay, so I can go to tutorials from there. What is... hang on. Follow the community to get, a to get surprise rewards. Well, it tells me what the reward is. 50 of those crystals. That's not a surprise. I can't. Hang on, I can't. I need to use my mouse to go back. I just want everything to 
No, it's just as I have things to check. Look, I've looked, I've looked, I've looked at them. Look at these oh, notices. Yeah, there's all sorts of things I have no no idea about. Just, just that's just uh, there. Yeah, back. Yeah, back. Back. Okay, good. We're, okay, my phone. I've checked all my messages now on my phone. Break stuff. That's how you, you get. We can get like floor um, chickens, but floor space chickens. Something is up ahead. I love so much. Wish I got a banner when she was out. Oh, is she not like a in the in the standard like pool? The ones getting ambushed, but they're the ones getting besieged. Okay. Switch to skill. Consume skill points to use. Yeah. You took the bait just like that. Okay, that makes sense. Use free moves. I know, I, I'm guessing I don't get to keep these characters, so I'm not going to focus too much on like learning the ins and outs of their abilities for now, because I figure they're not going to throw anything at me too difficult at this point. Did Herda organize it herself? According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. Oh, no, there's Kafka. So we'll have a few weeks ago, Kafka will be getting her first banner soon. Well, out of the two of them, I'd much rather get Kafka than Silverwolf. Kafka's, Kafka's cool. Um, if, as you say, she's a little bit extra, but she's, she's, she's okay. Not these ones, you do get free, free ones. Okay. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into her to... Well, I have I Prime really as here. well, which has a drop on it, which I'm going to claim in a minute, but I don't know whether... I don't know what exactly. I, it gives you stuff, but I don't know what that stuff is. Where's the Stellaron? Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees. We would find the Stellaron in a non physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Does any of this make set? Is, is any of this supposed to make sense at this point? Like, if I'd played, like, Honkai First Impact or whatever the other Honkai games are, does this more make more sense, or is this just supposed to be, like, you're, you're supposed to be confused by what they're talking about at this point? Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Like, I get that they're following... They've got a robot that can see the future, and they're following a script that the robot okay. wrote. The but it's the kind of... The, the, the script's not... doesn't give every single detail. This is all supposed to be new. Okay, cool. So, 
I'm not going to focus too hard on understanding exactly what's going on, then. Huh? I can't see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. Oh, I have an idea. No, I don't. That's a tutorial. Never mind. I thought I, I thought I had an idea. Turns out I was just remembering my uh, re remembering my I can training. See the whole space station on the surveillance screen, but not the Stellaron. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. I'm gonna just turn the volume up a little bit. <sighs> Make your way over here, then. There's no point in trying to search like this. What I'll do is... Go to... Yeah, just pop the music down a few. So, got a master plan? I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Herta's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. So we're doing some kind of space heist. Hmm. What's this? Item number 211. Line spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? But you spotted it really easily. So, I don't. I no. That that's not true. Then, like you, you, you immediately figured out where it was. It required almost no effort at all. Strange thing number two. The data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram. But it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry, this place won't be our grave. Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron is up ahead. I feel like... It has its own security system. I guess even for her to Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. I feel like the people, if there was a society for geniuses, they could come up with a better name than the Genius Society. It's very kind of Route 1. Can you get it? Of course. Even the Genius Herda can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. Now we have Mensa. In, in, in real life, which is uh, like Greek or something. Ready. Your decision. I feel like space geniuses should have some kind of like multi layered. Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. Multi layered. Also said, uh, it must be you who makes it. Space Latin pun. Um, that's right, space Latin from space Rome. I don't think. So I can be Stell or Kalos. Can I, I can customize this character, can I? Around, having second thoughts. Yeah, we've always been the ones taking Stellarons. It's the first time we're giving one out. Want to give him a new name? <laughs> Change the name. All right. Well, we'll be. Because I am. 
massively uninventive. You can change the name, but that's it. Oh man, because I played. Well, that might not have been one of these games though. What's it called? The tap the. The Tower of Stars You're or something? You're gonna think for this long? <laughs> Didn't make up your mind when you got out of bed this morning? Oh, shut up. Don't hurry me, Silver Wolf. There we go. How much does he remember? Hm, I'll remember you. Time to get up. So I have to play as a... I get to play as, I have to play as a boring pretty boy that doesn't even have like a chin strap beard or a pompadour or sunglasses. Kafka? Great, so you remember me. No, I just had something stuck in my throat. <coughs> Ugh. Who are you? You are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving, and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. <laughs> I'm, I, your objectives are really unclear. Why did you, why, why, why am I here? Why did you wake me up? Why are you just leaving me Listen. here? In the near future, you will encounter. I guess it's all part of the script that she keeps talking and about. Hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures it's with got them. Got a dandy heart. Okay, that's what I'll have to journey, do. All that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Yeah, I got another drop. Thank you, me. This is the future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? No. I, I don't want it. This is also a lovely answer. So, Elio can foresee the future, but he can't make decisions for you. Use that will of yours to reach the end of your story. That's the you I like. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. These uh, these kind of remind me of the two, the, the brother and sister from Bioshock Infinite, who were just like, going like, oh yeah, we, we're doing this again. And it's like, well, what are you, I have no context for who you are. I know, Silver just kind of Just give me another minute. It's like, yeah, 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 we've done this a million times. We know it. We, we, we kind of exist outside of reality. Don't worry about us. We're just riding it. We're just rowing a boat. I must leave now. Don't worry. Someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. I'm still clearing when my throat. When you have a chance to <coughs> make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. Aren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? Kafka will appear a bit more of the main stories. Okay. She should come back. I like Kafka. Here, she seems fine. Weird. Look like a mannequin to you? But uh, fine. But, you know, pff, yeah, fine. <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've never done it before. Don Hung, you do it. <sighs> Wait, stop it! They're awake! <laughs> We're in the future. Surely we have something what we have a robot that can do this. Are you alright? Can you hear me? Do you remember your name? I don't remember a thing. Aw, oh, this isn't good. Can you try harder? I'm sure you can at least remember your name. My name is Dante. Space Dandy, if nice you will. You. My name's Don Hung, and this is March 7th. This space station was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. 
Uh huh. Did you say she was named after a day? Goons owned by the destruction. You're lucky the most dangerous Lord Ravager among them isn't around. Just some nasty minions. Yes, okay. That is some uninventive parents. Or oh, did, did they just fill the birth certificate in wrong? And a date of birth? Jessica. Name, March 7th. We'll take those invaders out soon. It's like, oh don't god, worry. what a clerical error. <laughs> it's like, when do you celebrate your birthday? I don't know when Jessica is. I've, I've been searching the universe for a calendar that has Jessica on it. But it's just, it doesn't seem to exist as a time. That's that's March seventh backstory I've decided. With pink hair, Madame Herda appointed her to be the acting lead researcher. That girl really needs to step up. I can't believe her own employee doesn't even know her name. Okay, where should I go? Back to the master control zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. Plus, that's where we parked the Astral Express. Don't you worry. We'll protect you from the monsters and clear up this mess. Don Hung and I are members of the Astral Express crew. Well, the Express has some dealings with Madame Herta. So we come to visit the space station from time to time. We just so happen to arrive during this invasion. Of course, as a <coughs> crew of heroes, we're happy to lend a hand. It's weird that they don't like, accuse me of being involved with any of this. Yeah. You've never seen it? The Express comes here every once in a while. It's a unique train that can travel between the stars with the power of the Trailblaze Eon. Oh, of course. I'll show you once we're back to the Master Control Zone. You and March go back together. Arlan from the Security Department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to find him first. Oh, all right. You stay safe. Nick, <laughs> leaving. Um, maybe you should take this. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. It's better if you have something to protect yourself. Just a suggestion, though. You're safe as long as you stick with me. No, I'll, I'll take the uh, the space baseball bat. So, do I get March seventh for free, or is she temporary as well? And she's yours to keep. Okay. Why don't put it like that? <laughs> she's not a pet. But good to know. Dandy is a physical type character. Nice. Character has her own path. Dandy is a character that follows the path of destruction. Okay. I like that. Characters come in different types and follow different paths. Learn about the character uh, in the detailed screen. Girl who once slumbered in eternal ice and knows nothing about her past. To find out the truth about her origin, she decided to travel with the Astral Express. As of right now, she has prepared about 67 different versions of her life story for herself. Oh. Ah, juice. If I say the word, I get a craving. If I get a craving, I want to drink some. And if I drink some... <laughs> I can't stop. I feel like you could change one word of that and make that a lot worse. Pom pom. The conductor is the best. Okay. I came up with my name myself, but some people just call me March. Which do you prefer? I feel like you should have workshopped the name a bit better. I mean, it's, it's unique, I suppose. So do I have the space bat? Okay, so I can heal. 
here. I wonder if you get to do gacha. Oh, uh. Oh, wait, no, that's the month. Fourth of December, dandiest day of the year. I've done a thing. <laughs> Equilibrium level changes you explore the universe. When the trail blaze level reaches 20, 30, 40... <sighs> I, I, I do play quite a few MOBAs. Not MOBAs. Mobile games. Um, and there's always this kind of like immediate fatigue I get whenever I start a new one. Where there's just a million different systems and currencies that you need to get your head around. Like it doesn't take too long. And you, you learn it eventually, but there is just that sort of, like, initial... <sighs> okay. Let's figure this one out. <laughs> okay, I can't get you yet. Did I grab the bat? I don't see it anywhere. This place is full of fancy little gadgets. Heard us collection. I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect them and then leave them here to gather dust. I ain't reading that. <laughs> but happy for you. Or oh, sorry it happened. Uh, it's the Antimatter Legion. So these creep. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you, March. I went and hit it with my stick. You have the worst luck running into me. Uh, all right. The white bar on below root the weakest type indicates the enemy's toughness. Using attacks of the same type as the enemy's weakness would deplete the enemy's toughness. Set the enemy on the right. This attack can deplete the enemy's toughness. Okay, that kind of makes sense. She's ice. Let's make it quick. And these guys are weak to violence. <laughs> See, I broke him. Oh, well, you're coming from being broken immediately. My turn. Oh, okay, she's got a defense buff. This? And I can just hit people really hard with my stick. You have the worst luck running into me. What's this? Stronger than you look. You seem to be quite the fighter. Yeah, no, I'm fantastic. Can I go up here? <laughs> oh, space station access. Okay. That's fair enough. Oh, it's turn based, not open world, makes it way less tedious. I do like the turn base part of it. There, there, there aren't as. There, Turn-based RPG is one of those things that I kind of got bored of, and then they, so we'll take that elevator on the they just stopped making to them. The I mean, they do program. still make them, obviously. There are the lots way? of turn-based RPGs, but all the RPGs that I wanted to play stopped being turn-based ones. So it's nice to have one that comes to comes back. Um, I noticed that you're not wearing the space station staff uniform. Do you really work here? I remember. Memory loss, huh? You must have been injured. You must be a cliche. Never mind. I won't ask if you don't want to talk about it. Let's go. I'll take you to the safe zone. Ugh, this treasure is so basic.
Okay. I I have. Oh, it's weak to violence. I was looking for the weakness type, and I realized it was on screen already. Danny is locked on by the enemy and will be attacked first. Oh, okay, so it wants me to use my defense skill. Stay right there while I give you a present! <laughs> I'm very nonplussed by her maid spell. Auto counter every time I. Oh no, okay. I guess there's just a chance that she'll auto counter. Let's go. Uh, rules are made to be broken! Daddy's a powerful character that follows the path of destruction. Yes, I am. You're out. Oh, I thought there was going to be more to that. Why did you fight? Why did your arrows split into plushies? Watch this. Didn't do anything. Huh. My turn. Uh, I guess. With me out here, how can we lose? Better up. Oh, I can I can heal at one of these doodads, can't I? Neat. I got, I got another drop. Claim. Thank you, me. Looks good. I think after an hour they stop coming. I don't know. Is the weird tree thing growing on the station a cool, or is that just part of the future? Uh, I knew it. It's broken. But it wasn't me. The antimatter legion must have broken it. Right. Uh, too bad Don Hung's not here. He's like a walking encyclopedia. He knows a ton of complicated stuff. Maybe even elevator repair. Oh, I just realized I'm... Because I've got the game covering most of my screen. I can't... I just realized I'm covering some of the subtitles. Let me pop myself down in the corner a little bit more. There we go. I don't know that one. Whoa! <sighs> Why are you here? And how did you get here before us? I took another route to the upper level, and I saw you guys from up there. Arlan is in the control room. He's been injured, but not fatally. You found him? So I just left Will him. Will he know what to do about this elevator? I suppose as the head of the security department, he should know. 
Then let's go talk to him. I have Dan Heng. He goes at, he goes at the back. He's not allowed to stand with the rest of us. Now he's way higher level than the rest of us. Well, they're wearing level two. Oh. I want to be level five. attention to this. So she, she shoots ice bunnies. Oh no, they do do damage. Batter up. Clemency? Never heard of it. Attack now. Just a scratch. There's something about the way that the enemies the die. Into me. Um... <laughs> Like, where they get, get like, sucked into the hole, it kind of reminds me of how they killed the the alien at the end of Alien Resurrection. Where they like blew a hole in the window of the ship, and then it just kind of got sucked through. It just gets sucked through the hole. Or, if you've ever seen that video, it's a horrible video. Hey, if you've ever seen that video you're all together? of that crab that crawls a bit too close to that... That, that I don't know what it is, but it's a pipe that's sucking up water, and the crab basically just gets like crumpled down it's so until it fits through the pipe. And it's like very, very sudden. It's like, oh, there's a is I mean you feel bad I mean it's a it's a crab, but at the same time you feel like, oh I still feel bad for that crab. He died very quickly and suddenly. Yep, we're from the Astral Express. Oh. Did Madame Herta send you to help? We found a Shota. Excellent. Uh, it's just a coincidence. We came to deliver the rare relic Herta trusted us to find. Yeah, it's not... I don't recommend it as a video, because it is, like, brutal. Like, the, cr the crab dies... Uh, uh, the crab... It, I'm not doing it justice, but it dies so quickly. Um, it's really mean, but at the same time, it's kind of... I mean, it's unforgettable. I can't recommend it as a video, but, you know, it's out there if you want it. Why is the Antimatter Legion targeting you guys? It seems they just ignored the surface of the planet and came straight to the space station. If you search crab sucked into pipe, you'll probably find it. I have no idea. The Legion came at a very suspicious time, almost right after the security system suddenly failed. Lady... Lead researcher Asta immediately began to organize the evacuation. I was supposed to cover everyone as they evacuated, but I didn't expect to end up failing in this task. Don't be too hard on yourself. Your leg and dominant hand were injured. It was a wise decision to hide here and avoid a head-on encounter with the Legion. Yeah, also you're like nine. Yeah, most of the staff have been evacuated safely. 
So right now, our highest priority is to return to the Master Control Zone and plan a counterattack. So, do you know how to use the elevator? I couldn't start it. After the evacuation was complete, the elevators were all shut down to keep the Legion away from the Master Control Zone. Since Lady Asta sent you to look for me, I assume she must have given you the encryption key for accessing the elevator system? Oh, right. She did give me some sort of card. Mm. March. But where did I put it? You... So, now Mar that we found the key, March is a bimbo. We should get that's, going. that's what we've We can learned. use that console over there to unlock the elevator. Do I have Aslan on my team? Is that his name? Is that, no, that's the lion out of the land of which in the wardrobe. What's it? Arlan? Aslan? Whatever. The child. Let's go. Hold on. I only activated the elevator on the highest floor. We'll have to go there. You to get him eventually, it. okay. Sorry. The space station was entrusted to Lady Asta by Madame Herda. I must do this for the safety of the Master Control Zone and the staff there. Sad it's actually There's also an anime where the character's name's Arslan. Oh, yeah. I I think it's in the title of the anime. I think I've seen the manga pop up occasionally, but I've never felt inclined to read it. So I'll have to trouble you. It's like, to is it the heroic to... legend of Arslan or something like that? Apologies. Uh huh? You're not coming with us? My leg is injured. I'd only slow you down. I'll stay here and shut down the elevator once you've made it to the master control. Something zone. like that, yeah, good, okay. You won't slow us down. And you should be able to shut down the elevators from the master control zone. Right? Agreed. He and I made it here safely. I have a name. We've also got Don Hung. We're more than enough to protect you. Let us worry about the Antimatter Legion. You just follow us and keep yourself alive. You can use me as a crutch. Aren't you a nice kid. Thank you. But again, he's like he's like five. I'll just give him a piggyback. I have what? Tr oh. Level up traces to comprehensively advance your character. Uh, enhance your character, not advance. What's it? Oh, it's a skill grid. Okay. I need to send my character to at least level one before I can. Yeah, then that makes sense. Oh, that requires character ascension four. That that will take me a long time, or not. Uh. I guess I don't have anything to level up. Okay. I, I, I'm slowly learning the systems. Traces of the talent system. It's too late to repent. Is, is, is that a skill system? You have the worst luck. Watch this. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so that's where we're supposed to go. So we're gonna go this way. There are a lot of mechanics to get used to. I should say this, I'm still finding mechanics myself. Well, if, you, if you've played this before and you're still finding them, then... I'd say it's fair to say there are a lot of mechanics. It's fine. Like I said, I, I'm used to playing mobile gacha games. It's sort of par for the course. None of these 
enemies are weak to wind, but they are weak to violence. Life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Bankai. Uh, I just hit with my spear a bit more anyway. Into the crab pipe with you. Levels up the ones you already have at base and add some extra ones as well. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I see what you mean. It, it is what I think it is, then. I just don't understand why I can't level it up for the other characters, yeah. But I guess I don't have them leveled. I, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. The repulsion bridge has been shut down? Yes, to stall the enemy, more or less. Can we like shimmy along the side? Oh, we just turned it on, okay. I thought that was gonna be more of an issue than it was. I like March. I mean, I, I know that as a four star character, she's gonna be made redundant like immediately, but. I'll enjoy her for the time being. I told you I could fight. With me out here, how can we lose? What about this? My turn. Crap pie. It's all I can think of now, every time I kill the enemies. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make this official terminology, crab pie thing. Uh, hey, these shiny things, are these light cones? I thought only the Interastral Peace Corporation had rare stuff like this. Oh my god, is that a collectible card? No. Light cones are Garden of Recollection technology. They allow you to carry memories around. Very potent enhancement items. I heard the corporation paid a lot for the usage rights, but I've no idea how Herta managed to get hold of one. They were acquired legitimately. That's all I can say. Take them. They're very useful in combat. It's clearly a cone, obviously. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. I had to start with characters of a special light abilities of the wearer's path matches that of the cone. Oh, okay. So I guess Dandy can equip that. But I have... So select Dandy. It's like, he's selected. Cool. I have destruction equipped. Alright, stop Fortnite posing. I've acquired another drop. I will claim. I, but I, it's great. This is good timing because by the time I finish the tutorial, I think I'll have all of the drops, and then I can sort of cash them all in in one go. You know, I'll upload a couple of hundred pounds onto the of, of the premium currency, and we can just spend the rest of the stream doing gacha oh, pulls. That's that's what you do, right? Oh, is that it? We've reached the elevator already. 
that wasn't too many monsters. All on that chest. How do I get to oh, that chest? Probably shouldn't have said that. Might bring bad luck. You've grown, March. I can't get to that chest. There's a beginner banner that I heavily recommend pulling all your resources into. Okay, well we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see who and what we've got. That chest looks. That chest looks beefy, though. Move carefully. Tell me what to do. Probably should use my ultimate. Running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's go. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hold right there, enemies. We can find out about this guy before we kill him. Uh, product of the Antimatter Legion, utilizing the Warforge to recast and fuse remnants of fallen warriors on the Biathans. Though relatively rare, they possess both the intelligence of a warrior and the power and ability of a Leviathan. Its screech can summon a large number of Void Rangers. I have no context for any of the words that are capitalized, so I assume this thing is strong, maybe. And your rule. This. That's the implication. You can't run. Step aside. I have no interest in the truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Rules and also kneecaps. And also hearts. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. S such is the way of the space dandy. Targeting me. Stop it. My turn. That's okay. You I still have. Run. I still have a little bit of shield. I love that her, her counter is just called Girl Never Power. Uh, Alright. Let's, let's break some kneecaps. Less impressive. It's always it's always not very unimpressive when you use like a really cool special move on an enemy and get them down to like one HP, and then you just have to give them a little like additional bonk just to get them over the head, just to sort of finish them off. Oh, he's got a different pose to the, the, the girl character. Well, that's cool. Anyway, at least you're back. Oh, I like her. 
She's got red hair and a rose. Can I, can I, can I, can I keep her? March, Dun Hung, you've been through a lot. How do I buy this woman? Phew, oh, Himiko, what took you so long? That last wave of antimatter legion came at us like a swarm of locusts. Have you ever tried shooting locusts with a bow? I wouldn't have made a difference. My orbital cannon can deal with a whole bunch of enemies at once, but I couldn't just blow up the space station with it. Herda would not like that. Whew. Are you all right, Arlam? Asta's been worried about you. She's on the beginner banner. Here we go. This I'm is fine. the character I'm going to aim quick for. Patching up will do. Thanks for asking. I'll report the situation to lead researcher Asta immediately. Bye. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Himiko, navigator of the Astral Express. In other words, she's in charge of where the Express goes. March hasn't been any trouble for you along That's the way. That's not what the navigator's in charge of. The navigator's just in charge of getting to the place where the captain decides where to go. Think carefully about how you want to reply to that. Huh. Looks like we have two Don Hungs on our team now. We both we do both have the exact same face, so yes. <sighs> Please leave me out of this. <laughs> Look at you all. You've already gotten really close. Come on. Asta's been worried about all of you. I've got trial Himiko. Yeah! Ha! Oh, she's got a giant pizza cutter! Burn away! And I can. She's fire type! Oh! She's like a Lady Charizard with a giant pizza cutter. I don't know. The, the giant pizza cutter is honestly just kind of. I assume in the future they have giant pizzas, and that's why she has that. Does that get explained later on? There's still that giant chest that I... Radar tracking normal. I didn't Military unlock. Signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over 10 waves of continuous attacks. Everyone, brace yourselves. Asta, we're back. <laughs> Asta, stop, t stop worrying about that. Oh, I'm Let glad talk you're to us. back safe. Arlen just told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> he just doesn't have giant pizza and ladies with giant pizza cuts are useful. I don't want to see it. Exactly. That's the kind of future we should be aiming for. In times of disaster, I realize more and more that the space station's researchers are its most valuable assets. Alas, we were ill prepared for such emergencies. Let's abandon this planet in search of giant Italian food. But on the other hand, the entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be extraordinarily skilled. What is the current situation on the space station? The situation is under control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed oh. to alter a small amount of data, so it was easy to fix. Can I get the guy with the afro? The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Hmm. A broken spirit is far worse than a broken body. He's, he had some Nabushin vibes. Let's go speak with the researchers. Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. Have you tried contacting Herta? I sent multiple letters, all met with silence. You know her, Himiko? The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. She doesn't really care about it. I knew it. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herda and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. At least that might get her attention. Oh, that would be of great help. Warp to obtain characters and light cones. You obtain characters. Oh, this is the gacha. Make one warp. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna get too excited about this one because I assume, yeah, you just you just guaranteed Asta every time, so that's, that's fine. Oh, Gepard, Himiko, and Brony. I don't have any things though. I can try out a load of characters. Okay, I don't care about Clara, but I do like the giant robot that she's, she comes with. Can I get the robot and not her? Or is she inside of the robot? Oh, she's cute. Eh, I, I, the rest of these are whatever. Himiko, giant robot, and uh, underwater girl. Oh, those are the... Oh, I get reward. Okay, so if I do a trial, I get rewards for doing... And I can use those... <laughs> for something. Uh... Departure warp. 20% off for a set of 10 warps. And... Five star characters guaranteed within 50 warps. Oh, is this the beginner one? Yeah, okay. So I have... I have zero of the premium currency, I guess. So it's 90... Hang on. <laughs> hang on. Alright, so it's 160 for each pass. And I need 8 passes to do a thing. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to be able to buy anything. Uh... Alright, so like 5 quid gets me... 300 plus a bonus 300. So on my first time only. So five quid gets me six hundred, and then six hundred, I can get five for ninety. So that's a four hundred and fifty. So then I've got a hundred and fifty left over to get the other three, which isn't going to be enough money, because normally they're a hundred and sixty or twenty. Hang on. Wait. Hang on. Why why are these ones 20 and these ones 160? What's it's the same oh no, it's different currency. Wait, hang on, that gives me Why are there so many different currencies? Right, there's 600 of the pink and blue currency, and from that I can buy none of this stuff. None of this stuff uses the pink and blue currency. So what am I, is the, is the only thing I could buy with the pink and blue currency this stuff? Which gives me, f doesn't give me the, the things. Why, this shouldn't be so difficult for me to spend money. Okay, insufficient exchange, yeah. Let me, let me use money. <laughs> This is so... <laughs> right. I think the Oneric pouch thing is different currency of the embers. Which can be turned into... Oneric currency can be turned into stellar jades. This shouldn't be this hard! This should... <laughs> I should be able to spend money a lot easier than this. All right, so I, I need warp tickets. So I need star rail passes to do warps. To to buy to buy star rail passes, I need the blue currency, which I can buy with warp. just takes me back to this screen. <laughs> okay.
Okay. <laughs> All right. So, I, no, that's a different currency as well. Okay, that's that's the free currency. The white crystal up in the corner is what you're gonna is what you get in game. So that's that's that that's the one that I've been getting. Every 160 of those, I can get a free Star Rail Pass. Star Rail Passes are for the standard beginning banners. Special Passes are for limited banners. So that's the... Yeah, okay. So that, 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 that's fine. I understand that. But I need 20 of this currency. Undying Starlight. Which I get from warp. Okay, so I get I get this currency from leftover. If I do a warp and I get duplicates, I get some of this currency, right? That makes that that makes sense. Okay, so I get I, I extra currency and I can use that to then buy stuff. If I get the extras, okay. So then, what do I spend this stuff on that I can buy with real money? Because the only thing that looks like it's actually got any money is this, but this just gives me materials. Like, this doesn't give me... Like, what I want to be able to do is buy... Oh, okay, so then I, tra I... I see. So I buy the Oneric Shards, and then I can transform the Oneric Shards into Stellar Jades at a rate of one to one. And then I use... Okay. And then I use the stellar then I use the stellar jades to buy star rail passes at a rate of 160 per rail pass. So I need eight of these to do one of the warp pulls, which is I can't do that math in my head. Uh. One thousand two hundred and eighty. So I have one hundred and twenty already. So I need to spend fifteen quid, basically, to do one pull. That seems kind of bad. Okay, but you say I get free ones in game as well, so maybe. I just don't understand why they'd make it so confusing for me to spend money in this game. Like, I don't mind spending a little bit of money, but 15 quid for one I'll April seems like in your hands. a bit much. If you have any other questions, you're welcome to come. She's fire type as well, so I, but I don't want to use her because I've got Himiko for the time being. Put a Himiko in me. Okay. Well, there's two of me. Here. Get pizza cut. You clone. Alright, so can I now... Cash in... Alright, I'm just going to... Cool, I knocked Serval. That's easy. Oh, I got 20 star, star rail passes. Okay. Alright, so I have some free passes from doing that. Uh, I also have the Twitch drops. Let me let me see if I can claim these now. Uh Do I have to? Where do I have to go for drops? There we go. Oh, I'm only at thirty-one percent progress towards. I guess that's the. Oh wait, did I get those? I that may have been some of the rewards I I just clashed in. I didn't, maybe should have read. Yes. Okay. There we go. They're, those are the Twitch drops I've already claimed. Okay. So that makes sense. I got those four. So in, and. Another 45 minutes, I'll get 30 Stellar J. That's not very much. But I also have a Honkai Star Bundle from Twitch Prime, which gives me 60, which also isn't very much. Dang it, they really, uh, really don't give you a lot, do they? 
How do I re redeem this? Uh, set the foe, top left, select the... Uh, so dot, 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 redemption code. Uh, okay, just, just to be on the safe side, I will button game for two seconds. Okay, no, that was... I expected that to be more convoluted than it was. I don't, uh, I don't know why. There we go, so I have some Traveler's Guides, some disposable kinetic cannons, and 60 Stellar Jades. Alright, so I, I have some tickets for warps then, so I guess we'll try these beginner warps with the with 16 of the 20 that I have. Uh, game's fairly generous with rolls. Well, we shall see. Let's go, Himiko. Come on, little rabbit man. Give me a legendary. Oh, okay. That's a good color, right? I got a, I got a loop. I got a, I got dance, dance, dance. Pioneering. Hey, I got Yang, Yang Quing, King. I mean, okay, cool. He, he looks okay. Saki City, loop, pioneering, pioneering. Oh, I got another five star and Jeopard. Oh, he's got a big he, uh, coffin gun thing. Pioneering. Ah, I've got two five stars. Is that good? Okay, I'm guessing from the, I'm guessing the response. From, I'm guessing all the caps that Jin is <laughs> saying in chat that game two five stars is good. Okay, all right. It's just, yeah, I think stream of luck is. Uh, and I got another. I got another. We'll, we'll, we'll run it again. We'll run it again. Let's get th let's get three this time. Con bunny. Oh, purple. That's that's less good. I got Arlan. I am I not supposed to, I Well, I've got him now. I like all these cones which are very clearly cards. Okay, so I is the, was, that was good. Getting a character at all is pretty good, is it? Okay. Just closing it down, all my tabs from all of the different prime sources I got. All right, so I got, I got three new characters from two pulls. That's that's good. So I need four. Jeopard and Yankwing are both pretty good, aren't they? So I've gotten two of the... So there's three characters I want from this pull, and I've gotten two of the other ones. Uh, I, you know, I suppose gift horses and mouse. You know, one man's trash. Uh, I did get a lot of... I got like 320 of these. So is it worth... I could buy 270 of these. Is it worth is it worth using these on this? Yeah. And then I've got the Stellar Trade, so I can buy one of these. And then that gives me enough for another warp. Let's go! Come on, Himiko! I know that the color like, immediately like indicates what you got and what you didn't get, so. I 
Okay, so I got I got a nice cone is what I got from that one. So that pull is probably more standard then, I'm guessing. Alright, so I have two more at eight. And then I have to I have to dip into the into the normal pool. Like other people. Alright, so I can get some from that. See, if, I, if, if, if the rate of pulls was, you know, a little bit better, not, not the rate of pulls, if the money to ticket translation was a little better, I'd probably be ha quite happy to spend a bit more cash on it, spend a bit of cash on it. Because, um, you know, the game itself is free, so why not? So should I put these five, should I re replace... Like, he's a five-star character in... Who's my other five-star character? It's these two, isn't it? Jeff Bard and Yang Kui. Although they're both ice. So I guess I could replace... How do I do my team setup? Uh, if I replace March 7th with him... I don't really want anyone else. Um, Serval good? She looks kind of cool. I like her. Yeah, go on. I'll take Serval. So that I'll show you put two five stars in your very first ten pull. It's, you know, it's just when you're this good at video games or something. I don't know. No, wait, that's the... That, how do, there we go. Uh, okay, so I've got destruction equipped, but I guess I pulled some other ones, so... Getting rid of all the news, they they bug me. So can I do anything with these with these dupes? Can I use in the duplicates to enhance them? Light cone XP material and hats. All right, so but maybe I want to. I probably want to save that for the four star ones that don't have, where it's harder to get duplicates. The controller support on this is a bit janky. Because it's like, I can level up, but there's no option to get over to the level up win the level up icon down here. I have to come out I have to mouse over. Oh there it is. So yeah, so I should be using identical ones to level them up and then equip what I've got left over, right? That that that's that's the strat, yeah. Cause I got a crap load of money, so this isn't gonna. I'll do this in mouse because it's a bit quicker. Uh... Oh, I can superimpose as well. Oh, hang on.
So it's superimposing. Oh, but I can't. I don't have anything to superimpose. If I use a weaker card. Oh, I see. So using duplicates. So that won't increase the level, but I'll get... Oh, okay. So I should have been doing that. So what does increasing the level do? Does that increase the... Oh, that increases the stat boat buffs that I get off of it. Right, 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 right. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. Well, we'll superimpose then, I guess. Uh, I guess there's a limit on the amount you can superimpose. Once you've superimposed enough, you can start using them for upgrade materials. Uh, that's all that... Oh, wait, I one more. Erudition and Harmony. Do I have any Erudition or Harmony characters? Uh, hang on. Okay, so Serval is Erudition. And Aster is Harmony. Okay, so if I, for the time being, so if I in level up, I don't know, just don't want to use the other ones. I just level that one up a shitload, because why not? And then equip that. Then she'll be really good. Cool. I have agents for Oh no, Jack got gacha fever. I had really good rolls. I had really good rolls apparently on my first on my first roll, so it's That's what I have equipped currently, so that's fine. No breaks in enemy, the wearer stores HP by... Hang on, make sure, let's make sure I equip the characters. Is that Gerard? Oh, Je okay, so Gerard I have on my team, so I do want to give him... Oh, and the wearer unleashes the ultimate, they restore HP up to 24% of their max. That's quite good. Wearer stores HP by 18% of their max. Uh, I guess both of those are good. Let's go for that one. And she's got that. She's temporary, so I can't fiddle with her. And then I guess Asta's probably going to be the next one to... And yeah, give her the... Give her the rare one. I will equip everyone with something. can have that one. There you go. That works out nicely. Everyone's got some light cones equipped now. Oh, that's one of us. Kill two friend got me to fake grand order. Well you can blame you can blame Jin for getting me into this one. This was his game suggestion. So I'm uh you know it's it's, it's fun so far. Um 
I've done some gacha pulls. I've got some characters. I haven't got the character I wanted, but I've got some characters. I, I want this lady. Because I've only got her only temporarily. I the anti legion sooner. Oh, you play fake Grand Order as well. Some people already beat me in the gacha department. Surely you must have, you know... I mean, I've only done three pulls. Surely you've done more than three pulls. It's too, it's too, it's too little data to say how good I am at gacha pulls. Uh, how are you feeling, Arlo? Oh, I'm fine. This pain is nothing, really. I'm used to it. In fact, I should be proud of it. It's a reminder of being able to protect everyone. Do they ever explain why we have a ten-year-old on the crew? <clears throat> Don't tell lead researcher Asta what I just said. Is it just in the future that humanity's been decimated so much that we've had to rely on child labor again? <sighs> there were a few researchers who didn't make it. The rest are fine, mostly minor injuries. But I'm worried about their mental states. Most of them came to the space station because they admired Madame Herta. But now they can't reach her or even their own families. I just hope they can all survive this crisis. What's that to like? My first impression was that she was the daughter of a rich family. Owners of a big company. She was kind to me, though. When she went to the space station, I followed her. I don't know much about science, but I'm glad to be able to protect people in pursuit of their research. Okay. Bye. I hope all this chaos will end soon. Oh, he gave me more things. It's fine. We'll f we fiddled around with cones for long enough. Uh, oh, more children. I assume this is the... Uh, oh, they are researchers. Okay, yeah, so it's called child labor. It's just fine. Do we just, like, age incredibly slowly? Is that why there are no... Osan characters. Which is my, again, one of my other complaints about this game is that there aren't any characters who are older than like 22. I need to leave. I need to run from this forsaken. No, it's impossible. I can run from yesterday. I can run from today, but tomorrow will always be one step ahead of me. You, you give me one 35 year old character with a scraggly beard and like a trench coat and I will play this game Full time. I will become a. I will become a Honkai Star Rail streamer. Look, the obstacle detection terminal has recorded one hundred forty-two thousand eight hundred fifty-six attacks. The next count will be one hundred forty-two thousand eight hundred fifty-seven. That's how numbers work. You're right. I know in my heart that when I see that hopelessly beautiful cyclic number, it will mean the poetic end of my life cycle. I kind of want to put an end to your life cycle right now, dude. Uh, things will get Everyone better, dude. Everyone keeps saying that! Things will get better. Things won't always be this bad. Negative, positive, a negative of a negative is a positive. Life is for the path to death, but not today. It comes to an end, but not today. How insightful. Yes, of course! The closer you approach death, the more you appreciate life. I will pull myself together. Thank you. That was kind of you. Give me a reward. Okay, or I don't then. The other kid gave me cards. You didn't give me anything. It's anime. You're 16 or 90. There's nothing in between. There's a special niche. For washed up Osan characters, middle aged washed up Osan characters, and it is it is a niche that I I love. Give me my Zenigata, all right. Give me my Looker. Push the stick down, Alfred. Oh, sorry, sorry, I got the wrong person. Thanks, kid. We're doing some pre-checks for the satellite remote sensing. I'll hold down the button to monitor the signal, and you push the control stick according to my instructions. But first, let's talk about the controls. Up is the spectrometer, down is the filter, left is the reference level, and right is the attenuator. Our pre-checks have three steps. Turning on the spectrometer, 
then the attenuator, and finally outputting the signal to the filter. I give you a good example of that to get you into fake grand order. Google William Tell. I can do that. I, 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 no, fake grand order William Tell. Uh, he, I, I mean, he's cool. He's cool. He's a bit, he's a bit on the, a bit more on the sort of 60 year old sort of veteran side. But I do like him. This game could do with having more characters like that. What is Fake Grand Order? Is it like a 2D... Like this is, I don't know if these are gameplay screenshots or fan art. William Tell's the guy who shot the apple off the head, right? He looks less manly, normally. So he's a servant. Let me have a quick look through the servants. So I'm being, I, I've become distracted. Let me have a look. Oh yeah, but they do have some good. They do have some good quality. They've got. They've got variation. See, Saito Hajime. Now that's that's the kind of character I'm talking about. He looks tired. He looks tired and like he wants to go home, and he's just here because it's part of his job, and he's got a trench coat and a sword, which is you know, a bit much. Ah, oh, Napoleon. Oh, I thought he had a pompadour. Okay, yeah, I, I might need to get into Fate Grand Order. There are a lot of characters that... The character designs of this appeal to me a lot more than the character designs in uh, Honkai Star Rail so far. Alright, I, 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 will, I will look at that in my own time. <laughs> it's a card game with 2D battles. Okay. But I shall maybe have to look into that then in a bit more detail because it's quite a bit to remember. You got everything. It's it's one of my biggest complaints about um, this game and the other games made by I think it's the same developer like Genshin Impact is that the character designs are all very similar. Um, there's like a few you've got pretty boys, shooters, um, lollies. And pretty girl, and uh, what are they called? Bishojos, Bishonen and Bishojos, Shotas and Lollies, and that's it. Those are the four character types, and there's nothing else other than that. And like of the th of those, Bishojos are really the only thing I get quite quite I like. I want I want like Shonen characters, and like I said, Osan type characters. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Uh, uh, up right down. Wonderful, thank you. Nailed it. <laughs> that was very helpful of you, kid. Alfred was the researcher in charge of this. He was in the storage zone earlier. He didn't make it back. And all somehow 2,000 years old in a 10 year old body. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. I mean. They were literally talking, they were literally looking at a portrait of a girl. I think it was like the, the very second thing that happened in starting this game was that I looked at a portrait of a girl and they were talking about her being hundreds of years old, even though she looked 12. Abraham was close to him. I don't know how to tell him about it. The top priority is to preserve the space station and concentrate on the work at hand. Oh, okay. Uh, complete objectives in the travel log to receive corresponding. Hey, I got a special pass. I want to save these up, right? I don't want to just use them one at a time. Trailblazing. Oh, okay. Oh, so when I get my trail... Okay, I can do some more pulls when I get my trailblazing level up. Uh, 
and get Herta and Natasha and uh, a stopwatch and some cards. And uh, King King Kui. After reaching Tailblaze level 21. Okay. How do I do? I just I do, do I just unlock my Trailblaze level by playing, or do I have to go out my way to do something special? Because it's level three, I don't feel like I've done anything special. So. Just by playing, okay. Well, let's crack on then. There's a dragon. Take the express and leave. I'll stay. But let's go. <laughs> yes, there's no time to hang around, March seventh, boobs. We need to go. Communications. Are you thinking of going back? Well, let me remind you, that's the Doomsday Beast, the Legion's planet destroyer. The space station is Herta's creation. As long as the Lord Ravager doesn't intervene, there should be no problems. <laughs> but we can't just run away like this, right? Let's get in the train and run it over. Mm. The Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And Herta's not here. The station's defenses are too weak to stand against the antimatter legion. That's how you kill a dragon, you hit it with a train. Either way, the legion has the blessing of the Eon Nanook. They came prepared, and everyone here is not. Pretty sure that's how St. George did it. That's why we have to leave and take him with us. Hmm? He's that important? He's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course, I may be wrong. That question I thought I played Final Fantasy. Exactly. You could have a. There's a train summon in Final Fantasy. <sighs> As you say so. All right. This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Let's head over there and meet up with Welt. Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the express? The Astral Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movements, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but if the Destruction's Emanator were to appear... Doom Train, you know it. Uh... What's that? Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll explain later. Okay. I mean, we, we can talk while we run, I guess, but that's fine. You, you use your pizza cutter. You do what you feel you need to do best. Do they, in this one, do like seasonal variants of characters. So like one of the, because I, I play uh, Pokemon Masters is the Pretty sort of main today. gacha game that I play. And um, oh, okay. Oh, she's got a guitar. Oh, she's way cooler than me. For a detailed overhaul. Oh, she's got her pizza color. Someone, come on. You will know justice. All her attack names are just things like Large Margarita. Is strong. Is that all? I need to. I need to unlock her. This is our chance. Better up. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Ah, ah. 
this songs. <laughs> I will say I'm disappointed after using Serval that Gerard 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 Gepard doesn't like open that case and take out a saxophone or something. That would have been neat. Oh, it heals just by going near. I don't need to click on it. Yes, eight, uh, yes, and triple triad as well. Eight, considering I don't like eight very much, it introduced a lot of a lot of things that I I do like. <laughs> oh. Let's do it in desperado with machine gun bazooka gu guitar cases. She kind of reminds me of uh, the guy. Kind of reminds me of Gungrave, except his it's not his grave isn't a gun. It's just it seems to just be a big slop slab that he hits people with. Funnily enough, the case is from her guitar, their siblings. Oh, it is an instrument case. Okay. I was going to say it looked like it was. It looked like it was going to open up into something, but I guess she's already taken the guitar out. Oh, so it's, it's, it's fortuitous then that I have them both on my team. See, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. See, I got a weakness pizza cutter strike on that one. I'm all over this. Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume. Huh. There we go. Time for a detailed overhaul. One at a time. Oh, so it doesn't work if if I get the. It, it, it doesn't work if Himiko gets the break. You it has to be someone else. Yeah, that is a that is a strong follow-up ability. <laughs> Time for the main event. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquer us all. So yeah, uh, the, the, the gacha that I play at the moment is um, Pokemon Masters, and they'll do like seasonal versions of characters. So like you can get like Christmas versions of characters and swimsuit versions of characters and summer versions, Easter versions, that sort of thing. Do they do that in this game, or is it just literally like there's one Himiko and that's it? This is also the reward of trailblazing. Yeah, I know the squall dies theory. Um, it is in it is interesting as a theory, and like I've seen the evidence for it. There's, there's apparently apparently the guy who made it said no, it's definitely not what happens. But he said it's just. But it, it, the, 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 so I've, the the ending of that game is so like batshit. It it does make you go. Ha! How could it be anything else? Burn away. I can, like, did I, I... I couldn't... I couldn't see a way to get... Oh, wait, hang on. I can do that. I was going to say, there's, there's stuff over here that I can I didn't get. I just need to turn this platform on. What flavour are you? Uh... No. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I got ambushed. <laughs> well, I, I did that. In, I did that intentionally to get the achievement. Um. Up. My tempo. Let's go. You won't get away. I like how I got ambushed and I killed three of them before they attacked. Oh, that he holds down for as long as I hold the left trigger. That's pretty good. I didn't mean to use him, but uh, sure. 
get get crab piped. Reach the end of the story in your own way. There are different versions of the same character. We just got shown one in the story pretty recently. Oh, okay. Oh, so there's like. Hmm. Nom, 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 nom. Um, so there's not like summer and holiday versions, but there are, I guess, different timelines or something? I don't know. Someone from Zala does Majora's Mask or as he dies in the woods. And each area is a stage of grief. Yeah, it, 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 those sort of, I do like those sort of fan theories for games like that, just to sort of add that little, little, little extra layer of depth. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, sometimes it's, you know, it's not a zebra, it's just a horse. We need a strategy. We need a strategy. Okay. I'm going to hit it with my bat. And then, uh... Here to crash the party? I mean, that's it. That's my strategy. I'm going to hit it with a bat. Ready to lose yourself? And then I'm gonna hit these ones. Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all. You won't get away. Yeah, I'm really not doing a lot of damage against this. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. See, she drinks tea while she fires an orbital laser. Her up. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Oh wow, we are not doing... I, I just realized I'm not doing a huge amount of damage to this thing, am I? This song's just for you. Keep up. My tempo! Let's make it quick. Dang. Time for a detailed overhaul. I don't want to heal. And the only character that, can, that is super effective is the down. Of Landau. But I can I can buff the defense of my three surviving characters. That's cool. We have shields now for a little bit. Ow. And so, Jin, is your uh oh because I picked a fight with this guy and I wasn't supposed to yet? Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> yes, okay, cool. Well, you know, I'm willing it down. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. I, I'll shoot him with as many orbital lasers as I have available. See, that does decent damage. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! I don't- I can't use an item, can I? No justice. In the 
name of Landau. Years of cold. Okay, well, I think Gephardt's gonna keep us alive. It's unfortunate that I couldn't cast this before Dandy died, but... As long as I can keep getting Gephardt's ultimate off, I can keep myself alive while I whittle this guy down. Time for a detailed overhaul. It's the Zeus cannon from Spirits Within. Oh, that is that is a nice deep cut. I like it. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> I hope you're prepared. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. So it does like... Oh. I was gonna like, it does like double damage since he's frozen, right? So that's how it works. Rock with it. My music. Conquer us all. Is that all? No. Okay, we want. No, it's right. I am unyielding. You will know justice. The die is cast in the name of Landau. Years of cold. Hell yeah! I'm hanging on. I'm gonna whittle this guy down. A detailed overhaul. Yeah, I really chose like the the worst matchup for people. Well, Ge Gepard's cool. Um, like he's he's the one keeping us alive. But the um, and Himiko's super is doing a lot of damage. But I probably could have done better choice with. Uh, uh, guitar lady. The, 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 the yeah, you know her name. I hope you're prepared. Now stop attacking my boy! He's <laughs> the only one keeping us alive. You will know justice. In the name of Landau, years of cold hardens the wind. We shall never fall. Gotta constantly keep that up and keep everyone healed and shielded. Oh, we got no chance. I think I got him though. I think. I'm gonna pizza cutter him into uh, spirits within laser. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Booyah! Crap holes. A little goes a long way. I got, I got void and thirty stellar jades, and I scored a drop. Hell yeah! Everything's coming up dandy. I think I've got all the drops now. So, I no longer need to stream. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I guess it takes a little while to to come through. I got some achievements, though. Thank you, I am indeed cracked. That's good, right? It's not like like an egg. Very good. Okay, good. It's canonically its name now. I'm happy with that. Now we're all healed. Everyone's fine. Uh, do I have enough to do any warps or anything? I have 157. So no. The answer. Um, 
What do I have? Uh, I have... I can buy... I mean, I'll buy those two. Oh, so I can do... I can buy those once a week. And so after... Or it's just... Uh, yeah, so every week they'll refresh and I can get another five for that price. Okay. And that stuff, I need to get my trailblaze level up, so that's okay. That's the premium currency stuff. And I'm three off being able to buy another one of those. Okay, so, yeah, it's, it's, no, I don't have enough, yeah. Where am I you? Do I like the Himiko? Burn away! Why was that an incomplete combustion? Do I, did a, do I have to burn him away more? Pretty good crowd today. My tempo. You won't get away. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Uh, do that. Come one, come all. I hope you're prepared. Yeah, crap hold. Cool, I've got some floggist on. Hi. What's up? You guarding this either of you two guarding a treasure chest that I want. Whatever, I'm gonna beat you up anyway. This song's just for you. This is our chance. You won't get away. Man, Himika's so good. And that ability of hers, just and also the fact that she can summon lasers. Gephardt's really good as well. Servo, eh, she's you. fine. You know, she's here. This ends here. <laughs> Time for the main event. Keep up. My tempo! You will know just the die is cast. There you go. Where's the other guy running around? Where'd he run off to? Well, I might as well go and heal. Since I've run down here. Oh, there's a chest here. This is also the reward of trailblazing. Another one floating around. Where did that one get to? Oh, there it is. Uh. Bam. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Pretty good crowd today. Just, that's my opening Ready gambit. What have you yourself? got? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Better up. Ah! 
Yeah, it's definitely a lot quicker when you start Reach a match the end with of the story in your own way. When you start a match with uh, most of your un uh, ultimates unlocked from the start. There are any more super bosses I can fight? Ah, uh, yes, the platform. The express isn't here. It has to be nearby. Let me go take a peek with my Ooh, sharp I'm always at Trail Braves level five. And that means more gacha. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. Wait, march! Huh? Doomsday Beast. It's really here. Get down here! Uh, careful, everyone! Yeah, shoot the planet killer with your arrow. That, that, this will go down fine. Just gonna try and get this off before. In the name of Landau. Years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall. Yay. I'll take more than that. Here to crash the party. All right, I assume we can kill this thing now, and that's just the end of the game. Fair this enough. isn't like a scripted Let's loss go. or anything. Oh yeah, no, I can totally do this thing. What about this? I buffed his right hand. What is he gonna do with it? Someone, come on. I almost broke in the middle. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like those um, uh, all those Sentai series where. They have their ultimate move. Uh, they actually did this. In, they actually covered this in um, a Spider-Man comic, weirdly, because there was a Spider-Man, Spider-Man Japan, in one of the Spider-Man crossovers <clears throat> appears. We have a situation at hand. I'm talking about Spider-Man, Jeppard. Um, there's a. Uh, <laughs> I often buff my right hand as well. Okay, well I'm not gonna. Like like you, I'll, I'll like 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 the giant monster. I'll leave what you do with that hand after buffing it to my imagination. Um, it, they have Spider Japan, who has uh, his giant robot, and he summons it and uses the uh, the killer move. And one of the Spider Mans go, "Why don't you start?" Yes, I am the emissary of hell. I am Spider Man. Exactly that. And he's like, "Why don't you s just do the ultimate move immediately?" Of uh, La Pardon, that's the name. Of it. I I can never remember the name of the friggin' robot because it's nothing to do with Spider Man. Um, and he's just like, oh yeah, I didn't think about that. And then later on, he just uh, the, the, they they begin the fight with him using his ultimate move and decimating Morlan or something. And he's just like, there you go, I did the thing. Uh, rules are made to be broken. It's weird that I have a voice actor, but I don't talk most of the time. You got stage, you're welcome. You won't get away. Oh, I can kill this thing for sure. The die is cast. Fun story about Spider uh, Spider Man Japan. Um, apparently, the reason so Spider Man in the in the TV series of um, Japanese Spider Man, Spider Man summons Lepardon and then immediately uses his super move. Uh, every single episode that uh, Lepardon shows up. I think, he, I think Lepardon shows up in most episodes. He summons Lepardon and then immediately uses the super move. There's very little footage of um, him actually in the giant robot. And the reason for that is apparently they, they lost, they recorded the whole series and then they lost a lot of the footage. But what they had was the stock animation of Lepardon being summoned and using his special move, which they recorded so that they could use 
that they could so they could use it like over and over again. So they just had to every episode have used the they had no more budget to refilm the shots with the hard on. So they just every episode they just used those same two pieces of footage and had him appear, use his ultimate attack, and then the enemy when then died. Oh, I should have maybe saved. Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume. Let's make it quick. Better up. Oh, well, we killed that. Oh, no, it's completely regenerated. I'm beginning to understand the problem now. The Sentai Star shows for you. Yeah, it's just it's interesting, like how this defining feature of one of the characters was just created because of, uh, uh, out of necessity. You it was the same for your Ultra Sword every time they called it too. Yeah, it's, um, they do it in anime a lot as well. It's like, um, Sailor Moon's magical transformation is, it's the reason they have it. I, there's a name for it, but I can't remember what they, what they call it. But it's when they film it with like a blank background so they can just reuse it over and over and over again. Oh, he's buffed both hands! Uh, I'm trying to resist the urge to make a joke. It's because it's not, it's not even that funny. Years of cold hardens the wind. We shall never fall. Oh, shouldn't come around as what Amazon Prime is there. Ready to lose yourself? That is good to know. I do like Sentai. I don't watch it. I don't. I don't watch it as much as I should. I think I like it. I think I like the idea of Sentai, but not the actually watching it. I really liked. Um, there was an anime called, uh... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. It was something something Sun Red. And the premise was, is it was... It, it followed, it was a comedy Sentai show that, that followed the uh, villain team of a superhero called Sun Red. And Sun Red was kind of a bum who was a, he was a superhero, but he would like borrow money off of his girlfriend to go play pachinko um, and yeah it was just just a bit of a bum and the, the villain organization were actually quite nice and did community service and stuff I'm not doing any justice, but it's a comedy that series. That's all you need to know. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Cool, we, we killed it. Serious punch! Serious series. <gasps> I thought we were gonna. Hang on. <laughs> I I had a cool one-liner in my head and then realised I'd gone the wrong way. I was gonna say, oh, I thought it was, I thought it was about to be a leap year because we were about to lose a day, and then I remembered that's the opposite of what a leap year is. <laughs> and then I tried to think about a Jake about daylight savings time, but that has nothing to do with the calendar either. Anyway, I've saved the day. Bonk. Mr. Yang, is he? They're okay.
okay now. Let's talk somewhere else. See, this guy should be older. This guy should be like in his 40s and he's like 20. Is this the space station? He's got glasses, he's got a cane, he just needs like a scraggly little beard. Hello there. And an addiction to coffee slash alcohol and, you know, like a divorce. Not bad. It would have been even better if you didn't faint. But thanks to you, the Doomsday Beast was as tame as a kitten. It had no temper at all. Do, do we win? Yes. And you are the hero. Aw, oh, yeah. Get up when you feel better. Himeka wants you to go find her. I have something to do, so I won't go with you. All right? By the way, we should exchange beacons. If you get lost or something, feel free to text me. Okay, off I go. Bye. It would be funny if her birthday was like September 2nd. <laughs> hey, this is March. Here we to talk. Yeah, I know. You just told me that. I know I have amnesia, but I'm not, I don't have short term memory loss. Ooh, Shadow of Destruction. Oh, I've got Eidolon. When enemies are defeated due to the Trailblazer's ultimate, the Trailblazer, I guess that's me, regenerates 10 attack energy. This effect can only be triggered once per attack. Me! Did it do it? I activated it. But then I also got... Wait, wait where's the card? Where's the cone I just unlocked? Was that not a cone I just unlocked? I unlocked a five-star something. Well, I guess it wasn't. You're right, though, he needs a beard and some grey hairs. Exactly! I don't want to play- I don't want that guy, I want his dad. You know? What did I just get given? I guess we won't worry about that. Hey, Himiko, you're not on my team anymore, are you? You're awake. I had March and Dan Hung stay by the express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. Well, I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? It's a figma. Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? You have... Yes, let's talk about her ball joints. What you're seeing here is one of my puppets. I'm using her to talk to you. So, this little twerp and she's has 12. Yeah, and she's also hundreds of years old as well. This, is, this was the character, like, right at the start that we looked at a portrait of and went, Wow, she's really old. Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm. Truly amazing. I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in his body. <gasps> You're right. This little one's body truly is strange. I like a foot and a half on you. <laughs> Compared to me, you are. How old are you even? I'm like, I mean, how long have we been playing? Two hours, two and a half hours? Don't judge a book by its cover, Herda. Case in point, that puppet body of yours is actually much smaller than him. That's yeah. beside the point. Hey, is this one the same kind as that March 7? If that were true, can I bring him in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask him yourself. What's your price? Oh, this little twerp's pretty financially motivated, though 
I like it. Yes, give me tickets so I can do more gacha. All right, give the poor child a break, Herda. It's been an hour. I'm getting itchy. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. Yeah, I'm not um, a, f a fan of that trope either. It's, it feels like a... Oh, I can't think of the word. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it feels like just playing with semantics. Um, I was going to make a joke about the insane clown posse. Um, but then I remember that that's not the acronym. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. It's the insane posse clown. Yes, that's funny. Now, to after, <laughs> like two minutes after they said the IPC. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. It is unsavory, but I, I was thinking more like it's a way to for sort of people to get around the kind of uh, scumminess of it. And after that? Oh, not my problem. Uh, you also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides, we can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Can I wear a hat and will you call me the conductor? Hmm. Well, oh wait, no, the conductor's the rabbit. Can I be the assistant conductor? I'll happily work as his protege. I won't need to keep worrying about this little twerp all the time. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, think about yes, him because give it some good thought. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let him have a talk with Asta first and decide for himself. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision. Hey, Dad, it's Herda. I need you for something. Come to my office. I'm quickly waiting. But you're right next to me. Hi, I'm currently unavailable. I won't be contacting you later. <laughs> That's my out of office. Himiko! Oh. I need to... Alright, well, let's, let's slap on... Um, the other fire lady. Can I level her up? Uh, well, I don't want to level up to 19. What, hang on, what level is everyone else? Four, five, five, four. I just want to get it to the same level as everyone else. There we go. Nice to know that I can just... I can just get myself to level 15. Actually, I can... Current max XP reach can't... Oh, I can't go higher than 15 at the moment. Alright, well, there's no reason for me to. I'm annoyed because I missed uh, one of the big gold chests earlier because I thought I'd come back round to it and I didn't. See, why can't I play as these characters? Where's this guy? And this the robot. And this Alucard looking motherfucker. Are. 
How did you get so I soon? haven't moved. What you're seeing is one of my remote controlled puppets. They're all over the station. I just connect to one wherever I am needed. We're getting the guy on the very end. Oh, the, what, the gold robot dude? Enough chit chat. I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate question that's been puzzling us for thousands of amber eras. The truth about eons. Eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons used to be ordinary humans like you and me. But somehow they managed to obtain power beyond our imagination. They are mysterious, powerful, silent, and terrifying. It's hard to explain all the mysteries surrounding them. How were they created? Why were they created? The age out of the game what we turned 20. were they created for? Have you ever thought about these questions? Uh, 42. 42 what? Are you even listening to me? We Barely. want to solve the mystery behind the eons. Right now, I want you to participate in this project. The four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe. Just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and customized. I call it the metaverse. All right, Zuckerberg. <laughs> that, that long pause there was me trying to remember Mark Zuckerberg's name. <laughs> For some reason my head went to Christopher Nolan, and I was like, no, no, that's not the guy who owns Metaverse, that's the guy who made the, the Oppenheimer film. Oh really? That's what my partner said as well. Fine, I am a team player. Then let's call it the Simulated Universe. See, I'm really quick-witted, but like, you have to edit out the pauses. Now go and experience it for yourself. I will guide you in the simulated universe to make sure nothing happens to you. I'll even give you a substantial reward. I totally did that, by the way. When I used to make YouTube videos um, before I started streaming, would just be like, if I thought of a funny joke later on to something, I would just say it and then edit the audio earlier, just be like to make it sound like I said it after the thing. Who knows? No one knows. I got a lot of rewards for talking to her. So Skrillium is this dude, right? Yeah! Oh, I'll take the gold robot dude. He looks cool. He's like he's like a manly C3PO. Mm -hmm. Yeah! It's gacha time. Alright, let's go. Himiko or bust. Ah, oh, dang. Man, I had that one good pull right at the start, and then all the rest of them have been... Um, I got Herta. So there we go. Now I can have the lolly robot on my team. Two purples. That's okay. Alright, so I need four more warps. What can I buy? Um, not four more warps. I've got, four more, I've got four tickets left over. Now I can buy one here. That gives me five. What else can I do? I have 20. Character type is ice and their path is preservation. So if I get duplicate characters, that levels up the character, does that like enhances the character, doesn't it? That's why you want to get that's why you want to buy duplicates. But I could buy I could buy mm. Sword play is really strong. Oh that's good. And gives you an Edelon of theirs. Okay, yes. 
Oh, the, the, the skill that I unlocked. Right. So that's, that's the reason you want to do that. 300 daily reward for 30 days, 90. So that's pretty, that's, that's not bad if you play this game every day. They, they give you enough free stuff that I don't feel inclined to to um, spend any actual money on this. I could get some special passes, though. I mean, they've, they've given me they're only 90, and I have... What do I use the special passes for again? These ones. These two. So I can get... That's for light cones, and that's for characters. Out of five star entities, 50%. Out of four star entities, I can get. Okay, don't worry about that. I'll, I'll use the mouse, it's fine. Uh, I can get Arlan, Natasha, and Sushang. Oh, but I can also get. Okay, so I can also get Himiko from this one as well. Okay. Okay. Nice. I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm getting my head around it. Um. But I need ten of those. In my head, you don't want to do individual warps. You want to save up and do ten. Some games give you an extra one if you do ten. I don't think this this game doesn't seem to do that. But so I could get a star rail pass from here, but that only put me on six. So I'd still need two more, which I don't have. Yeah, okay. And there's Herta. So she's an ice character, which means I'm not going to use her because I have a really good ice character in Jeopard. So, no, thank you. What am I doing? This thing? This is like combat training. Dandy, can you see this message? If you do, just tap anywhere on the screen. Your body is still sitting in the office. This is a simulated universe generated from your memories. This is only the alpha test server where the features are not fully available. Now try to walk around. Oh, this is where I was born. Interesting piece of tax water. I, the, the thing with... With gacha games too late to is... Repent. I'm quite happy to spend money on them. Oh, and I don't even have to play. I can just, I can just talk. Um, I'm quite happy to spend money on. Um, on gacha games because they're free to play. So I feel like I'm, you know, I'm getting my value. I'm, I'm getting my. Uh, oh, okay. I there is. There's a mirror in the amber sky. It's dusk. You look up and find countless copper ore, amber and opal falling from the sky. This is a wondrous mineral rain. In the, in the steam, the colossal things stretch their spine from the mantle with a sledgehammer gripped in their broad palm. You open your eyes and realize this is actually Klipoth, the Aeon of Preservation. This is some kind of role-playing. There is a huge roar around them. This is a warning for you. Then they disappear before your eyes. Now, calculations are correct. Klipoth, the Aeon of Preservation, has really appeared. Heard his voice suddenly sounded, and then she let out an ambiguous giggle. The Aeon of Trailblaze... Akivilla's revival has attracted an old friend. Uh, but they have run away. What you saw was a simulated Aeon carefully cultivated by Run May and Screwlium. The simulated Aeons will ignore us just like the real ones, so I set your simulated identity as Akivili Aeon of Trailblaze to attract them. With a click of her tongue, her says, Now it seems that my judgment is correct. Next time you run into an Aeons, try to get something out of them. What do you want to know? 
Myths of the Aeons, anecdotes, love stories, the origins of the universe, anything will do. Herta was annoyed. Just think of something. I'll cover you for this test. So use my clearance to enhance your blessings. Now you can go have some fun. Don't ask why, just thank me. Go pick one. Um... I mean, blue? I, I, blue. Okay. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing right now, but... There's an enemy here that I can hit with my space bat. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, because Gacha Games are free to play, I'm quite happy to spend money on them. But it has to be, like, a re reasonable. Like, I, I, say that, I say that, I play Pokemon Masters, but the amount of money that you have to spend to, like, get a... If you want to, if, if there's a character that you want guaranteed, the amount of money you have to spend is ridiculous. So it's just like, I, I don't want to... If, if, if it was, like, five pounds guaranteed character, I'd probably spend five pounds to get a guaranteed character. I, you know, I spend quite a bit of money on Fortnite because you like know, it's like, hey, yeah, I want to play as I want to play as Vegeta. I'll play te I'll pay ten quid for a Vegeta costume. It's a guaranteed Vegeta costume. I don't want to spend ten quid and then come away with nothing. You know, I want a guarantee if I'm going to put actual cash down. I didn't know what she said, I just chose the yellow one, because I guess that was better. Space Bat! Too late to repent. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Just a scrap again! I also unironically enjoy when games will autoplay because when you're not fighting like proper enemies and there's no stakes, it's just like, I don't really need to be pressing the buttons. Just do it for me, it's fine. I'll play when I fight a boss or something that actually requires any kind of like thought. Because, like, I wouldn't be doing anything differently to what they're doing right now. It's, I mean, I maybe wouldn't keep using this guy's move, but... Just to, you know, see something different, but... Are made to be broken. Oh, I got another one. Uh... I'm not too eager for success. I won't interfere with the system again. Just play as you like. People's appearance is probably just a coincidence. That's it. Anyway, I'm sorry. So she's like trying to fix the odds to make this thing appear. Gonna hit we you with my bat! Move this guy again. Uh, Alright, so this guy probably do need to fight, fight properly. My turn. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it really sounds like she's saying "fuck you" when she does that. You can't run. <laughs> Fuck you. I put the shield on all of the characters except the one that got hit. See, <laughs> it really does. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Rules are made to be broken.
I completed the world. The fight is over and you wait in place, but nothing happens. What should I do? There's a long silence followed by a deep sigh from Herta. I was expecting them to appear. Never mind, I'll switch off the simulated universe. It'll only take a second and you won't feel a thing. Let's check back in reality. Herta? They came! You hear Herta's stunned words. No, not them. It's another Aeon. It's... Her voice suddenly drifts off. You have a strange feeling about this. As if Herta's words solidified and the whole simulated universe somehow became unreal. You see a blurry figure made of mirror fragments. It's the Disco Aeon! Their facial features repeatedly fractured by the prism to form a mystery. Countless memories spring up before your eyes. They're wearing platform shoes and, and flared trousers. You see Kafka. Her body is stretched, deformed, and rubbed together with the umbrella in her hand. Turning it into water droplets and falling at your feet. Show me a picture of that. You find yourself become a weeping Advalon baby with an uncut umbilical cord. You remember that there is a golden scar on your body and golden blood flowing on the dying planet. You find yourself dark-skinned and wearing a robe on the wasteland. You find that you are a swift shadow across the abyss, reaching out to catch the shooting star. This is a terrible disco. Then their voice suddenly came. The robe flutters and wraps around your dark skin. You laugh at exploration. The silk threads spin, overlap, and weave into oceanic words. Every word they say is connected to each other like a whisper. Before you could say anything, they suddenly disappear. They have controlled my brain! We d This is silly. We did it! There's a yell of excitement. That was Fooly. They thought you were the fallen Akivili, so they actively started a conversation with you. Fooly is valuable for our research because they have the memories of all beings and know almost as much about everything as Nos does. Aeon of Erudition. Come on out, Dandy. I want to si upgrade the simulated universe. You need to stay in there even longer in the future. You said you wouldn't interfere anymore. It feels like a hook pulled at your belly button, and your entire body tumbled in a circle. When you open your eyes, you're already back in Herder's office. Your first experience of the simulation of yours had ended. You unlocked PTSD. <laughs> Success. I have to tell this news to Stephen right away. Who's Stephen? <laughs> of all of the things I'm confused about, Stephen is just one more thing. Danny will stand there, go in again for a walk and see if you can get a few more words out of them or something. Alright. <laughs> yeah, sure, I mean, my brain melted, I turned into a baby and then I got hooked by the belly button, but... Well, you know, f fine. I got nothing else on. I've created the simulated universe and has even more RAM and can support longer sessions. I guess the last round was pretty boring, so I'll get Steven to add some more fun stuff. Who's Steven? Not as good as getting rewards in real life. Oh, that's for sure. After all, you're going to be spending more time on this project. Overall, this is a long scheduled version update with longer gameplay, more content, better rewards, and a more bizarre difficulty curve. So get ready and prepare to get back into the simulated universe beta tests. I will help you more. Here, I will join your team. Oh, I'm already on your team. Never mind. What's up? I don't answer questions about the simulated universe. I'm still very confused. Who's Steven? <sighs> Whatever. I can leave now, right? Or can I? Like, what was the? What did I actually get from doing that? I mean, I guess I'll just go through it one more time and see if it unlocks it. Anyway. I mean, it feel, I get, I get it's like a roguelike where I get abilities and stuff, but is it just for fun? Oh, the strange thing happened again. Yeah, a chill creeps up your spine, mist clouds your eyes, and you see the familiar vision appearing again. This time, they're even closer. You can feel their presence and power. Fully, the Aeon of Remembrance, appears again. They float in midair, bowing their head from above. Are they looking at you? But you are not sure which section is their eyes. Yeah, that is unclear. You tell yourself to stay sober and complete the mission. Speak to them. Uh, what a coincidence. We meet again. Chaos turns into time. Your dereliction of duty will pass. The volume is no longer proportional. The steps are reduced. One step. Two steps three feet. 
away from everything. Be careful, Elio. The train moves forward. The baby falls to the ground. The cancer is growing. So, uh -huh, good talk! They respond to you after hearing what you say. You feel the chill on your face and the hairs on your skin shudder. Then they draw away and disappear an instant. You feel relieved. It's like, it's like saying hello to someone on the bus and they just start screaming at you. We've all, that's, all, that's something we've all done, right? You hear Herder's voice at just the right time. You admit Fooley again. Well done. Previous test has never even got a response from Fooley. Sounds like she has settled down from her excitement and her voice has returned to the usual emotionless and mechanical register. Just, just what did you upgrade? What do you think an upgrade is? The next version of a video game? Some tiny rewards handed out every one and a half months? This is a whole micro-universe. If you could see all the changes at a glance, why would we spend all the time training universe? I could just build a garden for your express instead. There's a downloader just a little further ahead. Remember to use it to expand your team. Your brain is gradually adapting to the simulated universe and the available RAM will gradually become accessible for you so you can play with more people. All right, snap out of it. Go and choose your blessing. Do I get some more gacha cards at the end of this? I've no interest in rules are made to be broken. I think so enough to buy some. Okay, it'll be worth doing then. Watch this awesome move. I want to get at least like I want to do my five. Get me at least my five pulls before calling it a night, you know. Look on the left are the are the virtual friends in your brain. And on the right are the friends that have been downloaded into the system's ramps. Ah. Oh. Bring me along to form a four person team which will use the blessing of remembrance up to its fullest potential. Alright. Uh, confirm. I have hurt her. What are you weak against? Violence! Fighting is meaningless. Time to kill! The oh, actually. But the vision. I'm gonna turn off. Let's make it quick. Time to twirl. Uh. Time to twirl. Tough luck running into me. I want. I want to see her as special. What are you looking at? Actually, I'll save it for. I'll save it for next time since I'm about to kill this dude. Hello. Oh. Except, uh, open the map. There's a map for you. In the first tab, you'll find your route, progress, and records. Second tab is records. Because the blessings you obtain. Okay, so yeah, this is just this is just a roguelike section. <laughs> right, let's check out what her. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Ever see a diamond this big? It's all yours! Yeah, I mean, okay, that's, that's an attack, I guess. Rules are made to be broken. I mean, I guess when they give all the free characters the really cool moves, you, you don't want to replace them with the... With the premium characters. The sanctuary is 
but a vision. Break. Watch this awesome move. Oh, enemies are falling, and you can't contain your excitement. You are a genius. You are sure of it. Your concentration starts to crumble. You love the shaking of every leaf. You enjoy the destructive power of endless thoughts. And do you realize that something is wrong with you? This is not you. Uh oh, they're here. Akavili, Akavili! A voice laughed wildly. It has been so long, I miss you greatly. Your hair stand on end. This is the infectious enthusiasm of a madman. That purse has a mouth. They appear before you without a head and a mask in their arms. They wave. Well, well, that's a waste of a mask. They wave their hand at you, still spinning in circles. Their arms hanging in midair, their muscles controlling their trembling knuckles, and their posture like that of a sculpture. I mean, what else would control your knuckles other than muscles? I am so sad, they suddenly became sorrowful. Why did you die? They whimpered in pain as tears ran down the back of your hand. You felt like you really had died. You have fallen too long and the universe has lost its order. They began to clap their hands. Then everything started to turn to chaos. This is what I want. I want to hug you. Unfortunately, I'm just an equation in a computer. Oh, that seems kind of cool. They scratched their head. It's Punk has figured it out again. I have to get Skrulem to edit their data once more. I have to apologize to you, really. I lay in ambush aboard your train for a whole year just to blow it up with your nameless followers. I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. They put their hand to their chest guiltily and bowed solemnly. Do they have a chest? Oh, I guess there is a there is a there is a body back there. Okay. His disgrace is still pretending. They've already figured out you're not Akavili. You're Akavili. You're alive and well. What an interesting opponent. Please play with me more. That's what I want. Grow up and defeat me. They kick the ground with a stomp and fade away. You gasp for air as you escape from the torment. Aha, the Aeon of Elation, Herzer explained uncharitably. A very elusive one who probably found themselves living in a game. This fellow is very noisy and dangerous. Next time, bite your tongue and talk to them more. Thanks for your hard work. I love our hearts, to be honest, they're so goofy. It's... I mean, I, I'm getting the gist of, like, this section. It's, like, there's these weird computer Aeons that she wants me to talk to, and... Like, they're all kind of jacked up and weird. Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. We're gonna do it anyway. I do like, um, which I don't think I've actually experienced myself yet, but I have. I saw it when I was watching someone stream this um, a while back. I think when it first came out, was I like that when you're fast forwarding, they say shorter lines for their special moves. That's a nice detail. I have no interest in conflict. Rules are made to be broken. Time to twirl! Time to twirl! Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice detail. It's... I like when they when when games like go that little like extra mile. Just to awesome make the dialogue seem more natural. It's like how it's what I call Spider-Manning it now. Uh, I, they've done it in what was, what was the game that I played recently that also did it? But they they in spite Marvel Spider-Man they recorded two versions of every line of dialogue. One with Peter talking normally and one with him out of breath. So that if you were web slinging when you were having conversations. Like on the phone or talking to yourself. We need a strategy. It would play the out of uh, it would play the out of breath version rather than the normal version because he was exerting himself. There's another game that did that recently. I can't remember what it was. Um, 
Move carefully. I think it might have been the Dead Space remake that did it. Tough luck running into me. <laughs> ah, fuck you. The truth of life and death will be sanctuary. It's but a vision. Break! My turn. Rules are made to be broken. My turn. No. Job. That's it for today. I've chatted with a few of my collaborators and we've decided to redouble our efforts. Next time you come back, you'll enjoy our official version of Simulated Universe. Well, when did you chat with them? While well, you were testing. We have methods of communication far more powerful than those possessed by the IPC or the Intelligentsia Guild. As far as people with our IQ are concerned, this communication is highly efficient. Stephen Lloyd, okay, we have a surname now for Stephen, still don't know who that is, came up with a bunch of different ideas for making the simulated universe more fun. It won't help us attract more Aeons, but it might help you have more fun, her decides. Alright, I'm bye. Simulated universe will be closed for a while. We want to give the whole thing a big overhaul and think about what to do with Aha. Next time you, uh... So I'm just thinking of the, the, the... Is it the band or the song? Aha. Uh -huh. Either way. Uh, next time you will be official version of Simulator Universe. The test version will be abandoned. What is up with Aha? Uh -huh? Elation is a very strange Aeon. They are both confused and clear-minded and not as stubborn as the other Aeons. Oh, it's like Deadpool. Aha uh -huh won't stay confined to a single concept. They may have seen right through the nature of the Simulated Universe. You can go. I'll message you when I'm ready. Hang on. Uh, Alright, you better beg me to come back next time. If I have to, then I will. By the way, there's a simulated universe index over there. You can check it out if you have nothing else to do, but if you're not interested, then forget it. Is it not human nature to collect? Hmm. She's got me there. Look, information about blessings, curios, and aeons in the simulated universe are collected in the index. Index of aeons has some top secret info I procured. Okay. Yay! I don't think they gave me enough to do anything with, though, unfortunately. Uh, but I did get... Bigger that, which is good. Um, I guess you can have that. So you said the sword play one was really good. Should I? I uh, guess I should stick that on Dandy. There was sword play. I can't use sword blade. Path of the Hunt. Alright, which of my characters is a hunt? Dan and Yang Kling. Oh, I guess I'll stick it on Dan. He's my only wind character. For each time the wearer hits the same target, damage down increases by 8%, stacking up to 5 times. Yeah, that's pretty good for bosses, isn't it? Okay, okay. So it's kind of fun. I like the lore about the Aeons they give. I wouldn't mind if I got, like, rewards for doing it. I mean, I did that time, but I don't know if that was just, like, a one-time thing or if you get rewards every time. Like, I'm, I, I, I'm very carrot in the stick with games like this. You know, I need...
I, I need the carrot. It's getting late. Where to now? Oh, I can teleport. So space anchors teleport destinations quickly. Oh, okay. You do get rewards upon first clears. Okay. Well, that's fine then. If there's, if there's something, if there's a reason to do it, like, the first time, then... I will. Uh, is there anything worth... Invisible optic material is affected by body being connected as a road... Well... There's things. Hang on. I'm sure there was a thing that I was supposed to fight here. Back to my normal characters now. Reach the end of the story in your own way. A little guy. A very ordinary little robot providing very ordinary life services aboard the space station. You notice a button sticking out of the road door. Looking like looking like it might be a power button. You decide to force a shutdown. You notice that the little robot has been on standby here for some time. You push the power button and send the robot into sleep mode. You save just a teensy bit of power for the space station. It's not much, but it's still enough to make you puff your chest out in pride. I did it. So is this the the powerful enemy? No manners, huh? Who will it be? Turn it up! A wheel forged in ice never falters! Oh, Star, give these trailblazers your blessing! <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. Yes, we needed to be faster. Two times speed wasn't enough. Rules are made to be broken. We weren't killing these things quickly enough. Use your laser stick. the end of the story in your own way. Um, okay. When I clicked on the map originally, it said that there was stuff here. And then when I clicked to teleport, it then went away. So now I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I guess I'll just go and follow the story again. But I was hoping it would give me the option to go and get that chest that I didn't get the first time. Are these doors now open and they didn't bef oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, some of them open. I 
A shadow curio with particle floating around the crack reflecting. Okay. Uh, tap it. Tap it again. Tap it again. Who is dim curious? Only shines brightly, and you throw your hands up to shield your eyes. Several seconds, you open your eyes, but the cracks have disappeared. After checking the other hallucinating, you decide to tell Aster about this. Aster, I tapped a thing a bunch, and then it hurt my eyes. He's like, "Okay, good job, Dandy. Well done. Please don't, please don't <laughs> tap all of the artifacts that we've got, please." In back end detected a weird quantum fluctuation just now. You were beside it. What's that? Happening? I fixed the curio. I just went the curio a few times and the crack on it disappeared. I can't even believe it myself. I can't believe it either. The back end data from Panopticon system does show that it has been fixed and is active at the moment. It's been giving out a steady energy reading. Maybe pure luck, but this is too much of a coincidence. Anyway, here's a thing. Could it be that your hand was blessed by an Aeon? I'm kidding. No matter how you are, no matter how you are the one who did it, I sent you a reward. Remember to check it out. What did this in this grand universe? Oh, I can just—I I guess I can sell it. Nice. It's like, don't sell the reward I gave you. It was supposed to be a nice trinket. It's like, so I can't get to audio on my way to the merchant. Can't hear you. <laughs> if I knew where the merchant was, that would be true. I think I try the left. That's ah, great. Let's just let's just get on the express. I can. Although I am curious about this thing. It's getting late. Where to now? Happy. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. This is Asta's pet dog. It's often set to auto walk mode, which no longer freaks the researchers out. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. A cute and lively puppy. You can tell by its wagging tail that it likes you. The puppy looks up at you with a certain anticipation in his eyes. Let me tease you. Peppy looks in good spirits. This is a good opportunity to build a close relationship with. Pat its head. Woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Woof woof. Rubbing its fluffy plate with your pate with your palms, you feel the sensation of its tail wagging quickly now. Pepper looks in good spirits. Touch its paws. Woof woof woof. You place its soft little paws on the palm of your hands. Its warm paw pads are really squishy. Pepper looks in good spirits. Scratch its belly. Woof. It seems like it doesn't want to expose its belly in public. Ever thought I'd find a dog that puts up a facade? Pepper looks in good spirits. It seems pretty tired. Let's just stop here for today. Woof woof. Okay. Good. No, hang on. I, well, I can train Peppy. As a member of the space station, even puppies have to abide by the rules of the station. So for Peppy, you decide to uh, teach it to shake and sit. Woof woof. Woof woof. Woof. It doesn't pay your commands any attention, just looks at you in silence with a puzzling expression, drawing up one side of its mouth. You check again to see if your eyes are deceiving you. Its smile is a mix of sarcasm, indifference, disdain, and dysfunctional jaw muscles. Alright, well, bye. All on head of security reporting to. Oh, it's you, Dandy. Sorry, I didn't recognize you at first. I was just thinking about ways to improve the security. See, even the characters within the universe think all the characters look the same. Uh, improve the security department's emergency response training, after all. This is an important part of Project Revival. If the Legion dares to attack us again, I don't want to make things easier for them. Oh, Project Revival? Well, Project Revival is a set of post-disaster operational protocols that Lady Astra and the heads of the five departments collaboratively developed using data gathered about the damage sustained by the space station. It also involves many other coincidental active initiatives, such as the Curio Collection Squad, Security Zoning, and the Inter Interastral Peace Corporation's Damage Assessment. Sounds very organized. Well, it's all due to the clear thinking and proper planning by Lady Aster and the heads of the various departments. But the implementation of Project Revival is not easy, and Lady Aster believes that the number of personnel needed exceeds our previous estimates. Sorry if it seems to come out of nowhere, but Dandy, would you like to help? You protected me in the past when you battled those Legion monsters. Dandy, you are truly a trustworthy comrade. 
That's why I immediately thought of seeking your help. How can you ever have anything good for me? <laughs> Isn't this a good thing? It's nothing too difficult, really. The department staff are busy with project revival. Can you please go to every zone in the space station to see if they need assistance? By the way, here's your commission for your total of 648. Uh, I'm not sure how much I should offer you. Since my living expenses are already covered by the space station, I have no idea how much money is worth. Uh, 648 is a huge sum of money. Hopefully, with your having Project Revival, Lady Astor will finally get a good night's sleep. But what is my reward, though? Uh, can someone please help me? It's urgent. I need to reply SV. What happened? The security department is about to be in position. Darn, did you hit send door button? Abraham, he's terrified of every little thing out here. The squad has helped him so many times before. He's probably making a big deal out of nothing again. Alas, everyone just ignore him. In that section hall where I was working on Project Revival, I ran across this insurmountable obstacle. I'm sure Alfred would have come to my risk if you were still around. When did I get so many friends? A technical such as your friend list is no problem for my researchers. So sorry if my research has inconvenienced you in any way. I've already taken on myself to block the rest of your admirers who are still queuing to add you to their friend list. As for all those requests already received, it's up to you to decide what to do with them. Alright. So Arlan wants me to do this, and that will get me things. Do it? <laughs> it just said I finished the mission. Hang on, I'm confused now. What was my missions? Oh, there we go. So this will get me. Trailblaze XP, Stellar Jade, Adventure Log, Heterium, and some credits. Um. I can buy a pass. Can I? And I've got enough. Hang on, I've got five. I can buy one there. I can buy one there. I'd still be one short for the final pull. Close though, we're close. If I just get a little bit more. Uh, I'm level eight on Trailblaze. If I get that to 10, that will give me another 10. Um, how much does this mission give me? A hundred, so not that much. Yeah, that's not, I should, yeah. Probably maybe, I, I'm close, but not as close as I could be. Um, oh, but this is... Hang on. Oh, it's the Afro guy! Let me double check everything. Research topic, no progress. Research progress, report meaning cancel last minute. Okay. Just... Do you work to do? What do we got for sale? In World Shop, you can buy goods with the spot corresponding world currency. Any purchases are counted in the cumulative spending. Cumulative spending goals and rewards can be viewed here. Ah. So if I spend 90, I'll get a pass. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh... Musketeer... Wait, is it... Is, is it oh, it's the armor. Oh, when I get to Trailblaze tw level 20, I can get a whole musketeer set of clothes. Ooh, do I want to... Mm. How often do you get this currency? Just 
just by doing missions on the space station. Material for raising trailblazer destructions, Edelon level. Oh, so that's me. Right. What does Adventure Log do? Experience material for characters provides 5,000 character XP. Right. See, I don't want to just spend 90 on the random stuff for the sake of spending it. But okay, good to know. When I got 500, I can get that, and then that'll level me up. That'll... Yeah. Alright. Cool. This is zero out of chests. Does that mean I found zero out of eight chests? So it's seven out of ten. Yeah, see, this is the thing I was looking at earlier. If I go here... And then... Storage zone second floor... There it is! Another thing Marvel is made from special octopus materials. When put in direct contact with life forms, the touch box will be illuminated. Light up all the blocks to turn them into physical path. You can use certain blocks to teleport. When you tread on one such block, you'll be teleported to the other. Challenge completed. I did it. That was the chest that I saw earlier, and Looks I was good. like, maybe I come back round to that. And now I have it, and now I can now I can stop <laughs> I can stop obsessing about it in the back of my mind. There was though a formidable foe challenge on the other side of uh, on the other side of here. Yeah, look at this boy. Oh, that's a red chest. Oh, there's another one of these over here as well. Oh, okay, okay. Uh... Looks good. Hi. Okay. Thanks. Do you know anything better to do than talk to one of my puppets? We need a strategy. Level 16. Okay, hang on. No, no. I'll c give me a second. Give me a second. Horse. Chill. Give me one second. What level am I? Right, yeah. Level 4, probably not. Uh, but I can... Uh, that's the one I want. Uh, if I do a couple of these. So I can get one character. Oh, actually, no, I've got 11 of these. Although maybe my five star characters would be better to level up. Like does 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 the main character kind of stay relevant? Or is it worth abandoning them early? Oh 
Oh, well. I thank thank you for the raid, uh, whimsical. Hello to everyone for the mushroom raid, even. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I'm Jack Dandy. This is the biggest raid I've ever had. It's very nice of you. Thank you. Um, I'm just playing uh, Honkai Star Rail for the first time. And uh, getting my head around all of the very many different currencies and terminologies and systems and stats. Hey, thanks for the follow, Whimsical. Oh, th thanks for the subscription, even. Thanks very much. Much appreciated. Nice. Yeah, yeah, thanks. It's great. Um, hope you had a. I hope you came from. I'm guessing. I'm guessing you're a. Uh, oh, thank you. I, I'm glad you like the pomp. I'm guessing you're a Honkai Star Rail streamer as well. Just as a guess. Yeah, I, 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 otherwise, what, what were you streaming? I hope you had a good stream. I completely lost what I... Nice. I was leveling up to fight a horse. That's what I was doing. Oh, it's your second time playing. Oh, okay. So you you, you know just a little bit more than I do then. I'm uh, There's a horse on this space station, but he's, he's quite strong. So I was just going to level up a little bit and then have a crack at him. Uh, so I'll just give each of my dudes like a couple of these. I had a really good, um, I had a really good first pull, um, and I got, I got Gepard, what did I get? I got Gepard and Yang King in my first pull, and then all of the pulls after that have been okay. I haven't had any more legendaries, or five stars, or whatever you want to call them. Um, I didn't know it was a good pull. Jin told me that it was a good pull, so I, but otherwise I would have just been like, "Oh, I guess, I guess that's that's just how frequently you get characters." I would have been completely oblivious. Um. No worries. Thank you if you got a raid and run. It's nice. Uh, thank you for, thank you for the raid queue. And. Uh, yeah, well, thank you for the raid, everyone. That's 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 come out and still still watching. Oh, you got Bronya. I did see Bronya. I think I called it Brony when I first saw it, though. I I, I misread it slightly. Uh, can I get her to sixteen as well? Yeah, there we go. All right. That's everyone. That's everyone on my team to sixteen. So now I'm gonna go beat up this horse. We need a strategy. Yeah, my strategy is I'm going to hit it with my bat. I wanted to get Himiko, because red hair, rose motif, kind of my deal. Oh. oh, that attacks randomly, okay. Then... Also, she you know she summons an orbital laser while drinking tea. What's not to like? This ends here. That all. Who invited you? Uh, I probably. Who will it be? Pretty Would have been good today. to have come into this fight Let's with uh, Let's go. With some special moves, like, sort of lined up. <gasps> I'm worried this guy's gonna fire off this attack and it's gonna absolutely wreck one of my. Yep, yeah. yeah. That was what I thought was gonna happen. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Damn it! I, no, no, it's fine. He's got the. Never mind. No, no, we're still good. We're still good. I was gonna say he's got the ability that I, keeps me alive, so I need him. Um. Thanks for the follow, Kadashim. Shine. Thanks for the follow. Even 
Oh, no worries. But thanks for you know, swinging by and thanks for the follow. It's much appreciated. Is that all? Hang on. Don't. Oh, dang it. I just got his special. If I could just get Gepard's special off, I could keep the team alive. And now we're all gonna die. Let's make it quick. Yeah. I I may have come into this without a plan. There we go. Defeat. Awesome. That's my first defeat. Ah, okay, I should call you Whimsy. I'm supporting new Meet News fellow streamers. Well, it's nice to meet you, and thank you for the support. It's it's always much appreciated. Like I said, you're ease, hand easily the biggest raid I've ever had. Normally it's uh, it's one or two people, which is you know it's always a nice. It's I mean it's always nice. You know the size the size of the raid doesn't matter. It's just it's uh, but yeah, it's it certainly put a highlight on the end of today's stream. I'm trying to get one more pull before I call it a night. Um, because I, I wanted to get all five of my reduce, my like, reduce beginner pulls. Uh, I was hoping there'd be an enemy round here that I could use to level up. Uh, not level up, but like, get my uh, ultimates up. But I don't think there is. I'm just going to do a quick run around, because I really need Jeppard's... No, there's no enemies. I really need Jeppard's ultimate to be triggered early. Um, otherwise, I just I'll just die again. That's my that's my strategy. And this is a safe zone, so there's not going to be enemies here. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, some things can follow. I just realised that. It's uh, yeah. I mean, it's safe to say, I, I streamed this game because um, Jin, who's there, there you go, <laughs> she's screaming woo dandy, uh, recommended it. And it's safe to say, it's gone very well. Uh, it's, it's gone down very well, I think. Screw it, let's just, let's just try it again. Time to get vigilant! Okay, uh, let's not use up her. Pretty good crowd today. I gotta focus on breaking these guys. Actually, I have to use tactics. I'm still needed. Please stop killing my guy! Why do they all- well, it's like they know... Huh? Oh, that's not very strong, is that? Let's go. Well, I can kill- I can- I can crab hole that guy. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine! Hit that- no! Dang it! Don't kill Jeffard! I need him! Uh, there's a hidden taunt aspect to this game. I'm not sure if Jeppard actually has one. Well, they they, def they definitely have a hard on for killing for killing Jeppard. So, um, ah, uh, if I could just get his special out, this would be this would be fine. I killed that other guy when I was like ten levels under level, just based entirely on Jeppard. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Yeah, these guys just hit a little bit too hard. I don't lose anything for dying, right? I can just throw my I can just throw myself at this as many times as I want to, right? There's no penalties. Hey, just need to find no need to get angry. Maybe if I go back upstairs. There were some guys upstairs I can uh think so. Okay, cool. 
Cool, 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 cool. I won't worry too much then about. Uh, it's, not, it's not like I'm, I'm gonna go to my, gonna go to the shop blade, and it's like, oh no, no, you, you died like a hundred times fighting that horse, so you've got no cash now. It's not like Pokemon. Oh, I killed all the guys up here already. Uh, maybe there's another floor. I might just have to give up on the horse and come back for it. I want to kill it though. You, you, you put a tough guy in, and I know that I can beat him if I can just get. It's getting late. The move order. Where to now? This is the wrong place. Now oh, screw it. Let's just get on the train. I'll come back. He's not going anywhere. Oh, but there might be something really cool in that chest. Oh, I can't beat him. He keeps killing Jeppard. Oh, come on. Let's just, just, just crack on. I haven't even gotten, so, I haven't gotten the Honkai Star Rail yet. Through? Or the train. Best way through a hard wall through it. <laughs> just, yeah. Just... Just bang your head against it until it cracks. Wait, hang on. Those people are on my team. Where are they going? Oh, I know you! You're in charge of the gacha. It's the gacha rabbit. Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Oh, it's still yes, playing on the radio. Pom -Pom's talking to you. I love his hat. Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. It's like a fancy Digimon. I love him. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. It's definitely a good song. But this is the Astral Express, and everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. <laughs> so you're not the only special one. In many ways, you're the least special character because you're the you're the you're the one that everyone gets. Ah, uh, fifty percent. Oh, these are my dailies. Oh, no, these aren't dailies. These are just, like, I guess, beginner quests. But I think... No, okay, not quite enough to get me to level 10. But I think from all of that, I did get enough to... Run by one. Run by two. Eight. There we go. I can do my with the, with the musical background. I can do my last beginner. My 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 last beginner pull. Let's go, Himiko. I'm crossing all of my fingers. Well, some of them. Come on. She's the only character I care about. Ah, oh, dang it! <sighs> another purple. I got another Arlen. And only silence remains. And now it's gone. And now I have to do tens. Now what's the additional rewards? An extra five star character will be given when the requirement is met. Oh, cool, a pity. I've taken five, 300 warps in the regular warp event. You can choose one of these characters. Himiko, Welp, Bronya. Okay, so if I don't, so all I, all I need to do 
is do that 30 times, the 10, yeah, and then I'll get a pity, uh, Himiko. That's a strategy I can, uh, that's got legs. How much, how much for 300 pulls? It's like, it's what, t 10, 20 quid, right? It's not, that's not much. I can do that, right? That's easy money. Uh, so it's 160. So for each 10 pull, it's 1,600. So then for 30 of those... Might need to get the credit card. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not that's not feasible. <laughs> it's alright. I'm not going to spend. I mean, the only thing that's, that I've seen that's actually like tempting is this one, but I'd have to log in every day. I guess I could download the app and just to just to log in to get my ninety gems, because two thousand seven hundred stellar jades would give me like one and a half ten pulls. But yeah, it just doesn't seem like if I spend a hundred quid, that only gets me enough to buy like maybe 40, 50 pulls. That's a lot of money for not. I mean, there's the bonus on top of that, but even still, it's not. A, that's a lot of money for not much. It's not even like a garage. I don't even get the pity for that much. It's. It just seems like a lot. Uh, I could get. I do have. I have one of these. Okay, I thought I had. I thought I had more of the special passes than I did. Uh, I could get. I get two, and then I could get four, and that would put me on seven, <laughs> which isn't you know enough, but is is closer than one was. So that's. You know, three more, and I can do a ten pull on this guy. I don't even want him, though. I want Himiko. <laughs> I mean... Eh, I guess I'll save him for the next one. I got, I got his Idolon. Not that I'm going to use him, but, you know, nice. So this seems, I mean, if that replenishes every 10 days, the Embers Exchange, like six, hours, six days and two hours, then it makes, like, playing once a week seems to be, like, the, I, the optimum way of doing it. Or I guess just buying them once a week. I don't know, I guess just playing the game. And then just getting them as you go. It's just... I, I've i seen other streamers, you know... I guess they've been gifted them by the developer or something. But I've seen streamers do, like, back-to-back -back temples over the course of several hours trying to get characters. And I just assumed they'd be cheaper. It refreshes monthly. Oh, so I just got lucky that it's only six days left until it refreshes. That's that's less good then. Okay, well that's fine. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't want to. I don't want to talk to you anyway. This is like Yumiko a really. likes using the phonograph a lot. She says it can play melodies from the past. Oh, I thought this was like a really fancy ashtray. Welt likes collecting these jet black discs. It seems like they could be antiques. He'd be very happy if you could bring a few back. Ooh. So what was the song we were just listening to? Oh, is that one? Oh, is that like an extended version of Take the Journey? 
It feels like that should be longer than a minute and five. Welt, meat and chins. I love Welt. Is Welt good? Should we, should we play until we meet Welt? I got one Stella Jade for doing that. Here already? Hmm. I was just engaging in pleasantries. How can I help? I don't know. Uh, is the, uh, that's all. Pom Pom still needs to prepare for the Express's warp jump. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom will always have my eyes on you. All right, you made it weird. You, you turned from cute Digimon to like serial killer. Horse. Everywhere I go, it's always about the horses. There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. Well, that's one of the best characters so far. His kit revolves around trapping the enemies and delaying their turns with his ult. See that? That I could be would be useful for killing that horse. Who's there? Uh, it's me. It's you. The door is not locked. Come in. I wasn't plan. I mean, I was just going to walk past. It's awfully presumptuous of you to assume that I came here to talk to you. Are you just lonely? Can I help you? I'm just looking around. Feel free. This is open to everyone on the express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the express. I enter the collected data into the archives databank. I try to catalog the people and places the express encounters <laughs> and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Turns out Dan Heng says who's there every five minutes in hopes of catching someone to talk to. I like that. It's like, um, oh, was it was it Friends that did that where Joey's like, um, I can hear you. And uh, they're like, okay, let's leave. And then they leave and the room's empty. He goes, I can still hear you. Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used to view information already stored in the database. Do give it a go. It is a good idea, though. Just when you're on your own, periodically to go, I know you're there. Because if no one's there, it doesn't matter. But if someone's there, they'd be like, whoa, how did he know? So it's win-win. And if you're haunted, you might, you might scare the ghosts away. Oh, cool, I have an encyclopedia. Oh, I have to unlock my own voice lines. Who's next? Oh, I don't have Himiko indexed. One day, one day we'll get Himiko. The door is unlocked. Should I go in? No. Uh, better to wait till the room's owner comes back. Yeah, that'd be a creep. Ahem. Hi. Hello. Attention all passengers. Attention all passengers. The express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. I repeat. The Express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. I just screwed myself out of a lucky event with uh, with March 7th or something. <sighs> you took long enough, but at least everyone's here now. How do they call them? Lucky events? He won't be here, so just leave him be. <laughs> no one cares about Dan. Oh yeah, take these. A tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Think of it as an investment in your future growth.
Oh, okay. Oh, I, is this because I leveled up? Oh, hang on. We, I leveled myself up to 16. You might, might get enough here to... <laughs> there really should be a claim all button. Oh, I can't... Okay, my trailblaze level isn't... Oh, it's my trailblaze level I'm getting rewards for, not my character okay, level. Okay, everyone. Hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March. Always running around the express like a headless chicken. Pom Pom's going to start the final preparations for the jump. And you don't want to make Pom Pom angry. You know what happens when Pom Pom gets angry. Oh, look, I can look at my friends. Oh, there's actually people listed here. I don't know these people. These are strangers. There we go. That's more like yeah. That's that's what I'm com that's what I'm comfortable with. I'm like Dan. Yeah. What's the next stop? The universe. The Astral Express. The train just the streams past and bangs a hole through the space whale. Did I get dragged into a science Sorry. fiction movie or something? The Stellaron thing in my body. Are you trying to catch the stars? <laughs> I've done stuff like that before. Pom Pom's just like, I'm sorry I to express. I announced a delay for me, to the uh, to the like... railway service. There is a space whale on the tracks. When I first there is a space whale on the tracks, the ice, and uh, we need to clear it before we can continue driving. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. No, we can't go around it. We're a train. That's a unique thing about friendly. You can add friends and use a character they have on display as part of the team temporarily for things like overworld bosses and material farming. Ooh, so I can borrow someone else's Himikos. That's handy. <laughs> it does feel like an awfully superficial reason to befriend people, though. It's like, hey, you've got Himiko um, presented. Gimme. The whole crew was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. The whole crew was watching you? That must have that was probably the more unsettling thing to wake up to. Just wake up to find a load of strain just a load of men in a circle standing around you. Uh-huh. Like I was some kind of weird alien. I don't really blame them for being curious though. They had no idea where I came from. You might not believe it, but before all this. I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Himeko and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. Uh, how'd you get frozen? Who knows? I don't remember anything before that. Who I am, where I'm from, my name. It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. So like she's some super criminal that they locked in ice uh, what am as I punishment about this for? for all of the <laughs> crimes. To get everyone down, huh? All of the space crimes. It's fine. I was the one who brought it up. Uh, she looks like a space criminal. Cheer up. It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. That's the face of someone who has committed several atrocities. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about ten minutes. That's the time it takes him to waddle back to the controls and press the button. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself. And falls over every time. That's just called never giving up. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely killed people. Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you. 
Why did I get up to sit back down again? Hello? Hello, hello? All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. You'd think on a on a on a train that travels through space uh, that you'd have magnetic chest pieces. All those millennia. Is this what your Relo 6 has become? I mean, we have magnetic chess boards now, and that's for, like, cars. Uh-huh. So, that snowy planet is our destination this time? So did she fall over this time? Did she... Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Ugh. Spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven day stop over time extended indefinitely. Anomaly indefinitely. Metal Gear. Indefinitely. Until the anomaly is removed. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. Ah, oh, yes, like an ordinary train. I would have used leaves on the track as an example, but it's... The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis... It's Welt! The anomaly oh, it's this guy. stems from a stellar run, as always. This is the guy who bonked me with his cane earlier. And should be older. Yes. Just like the one that's been placed into your body. Oh, see, look how square his chin is. He needs to be ten years older, have a scraggly beard, and some sort of crippling addiction. Oh, uh, what should we do? Don't worry. It's not the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herta isn't able to fully understand them. But at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. Hmm. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Urelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. Oh, it's all right. I, I, I said something there. Get busy. I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions, and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! I seem thrilled. You're not coming? Himiko, best girl? Someone has to stay on the train or Pom Pom will get lonely. Not to mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. Isn't Nanook what uh, Mork used to say? So it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for Urelo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. She's adorable. All right. Well, we, I think that's a good place to call it a night. It's, it's quarter to two. We've uh, we've used up all of our our starter pools. 
We've got on the train. We've gone to Yurilo Six. Um, so yeah, this was this was, I mean, tentatively a one-off, but I, I kind of like it. So I might play some more. Maybe because I play Final Fantasy XIV on Fridays. Maybe I'll alternate with this, and we'll do FF14 one Friday and Honkai Star Rail another Friday. I want. I really want to get Himiko. Ah, oh, gacha games, man. Plus, you know, I just. I, it's nice to play a turn-based RPG, and it helps that it's pretty. It's nice to look at. I wonder if the progress carries over the PS5 version when it comes out. But yeah, good recommendation, Jin. I'm 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 happy that you recommended it. Um, I think I will. I think I will play it again. I've got like I said, I'm invested enough. I want to. Can I just get my Trailblaze level to nine, eight to ten? I get another. I get another pull shot at Himiko. We'll get Himiko eventually. That's my. That's my goal is to get Himiko. She's she's great. And then I'll save my other tickets for when that golden robot guy becomes available. Because I have it on good authority, which is that you told me he did. He does. He becomes available soon. Hmm. Okay. And he just grabs purple things out of the air if I leave him to his own devices. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Uh, I will be... Well, like I said, it's quarter two, so I'm going to go to bed. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll call it there. And I will be back tomorrow uh, streaming something. I will probably try and, I will probably try and get another nice. subscriber... So I played this game uh, because Jin recommended it. Jin's one of my subscribers. If you're a subscriber, you can recommend a game to me, and I will... If I haven't played it before, or if it's not, like, streamable. But otherwise, I will play it. So I might play it. i got a couple more games on the list that have been recommended from some of my other subscribers. So I may play one of them tomorrow. Just to... Uh, well, like I said, it's... I, I I said I'd do it in, in like my the beginning of the year, and it's now the end of July, and I've done two, so I should probably get a couple more off the list. So yeah, we'll play one of those tomorrow. Ah, uh, so yeah, so if I see you then, I will see you then. Um, thanks again for the for the raid for those for uh, for yeah for the raid was cool. I appreciate it. and the follow and the sub. Um, and thanks for everyone else who's you know still watching and yeah. <laughs> If, if you like the sound of my voice and the noises I make, you know what to do. And so I'll hopefully see you another time. So yeah, um, that's it. I'm going to stop there. Um, I'm really bad at the, the this bit where I have to say goodnight because I just try and avoid... I, I like to try and keep it unique, but at the same time I don't have nothing to say other than bye. Um, but yeah, good night. Stay dandy. Have a good one. Do all those things. Don't have nightmares. Yeah.